happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. And welcome to Epcot. Welcome to Epcot, everybody. Oh, hey, Monorail. Right. Very heading. It is a warm one today, guys. Yeah, it's quite warm. I should have probably decided to wear a different um, thing, but uh, I didn't because <laughs> I'm stubborn. You want to turn around now? Uh, yeah, with, the, with the spaceship birth in the background. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey. Happy 626 day. It's Hi. Stitch Day. Happy Stitch Day, guys. Yeah, I wear my Stitch uh, spirit jersey um, because it's the only Stitch shirt I have. So, yeah. yeah. So, guys, welcome in. It's good to see you all. We are the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. We're here at Epcot today to go see a simple plan. Yes. We might see some other things, might do some other things. Well, it just all depends on how the day pans out. Well, we'll definitely enjoy Epcot. We'll definitely enjoy Epcot. Yeah. And, and uh, Stitch Day. Yeah. We'll see what Stitch stuff we can find along the way. Mm -hmm. And let's go enjoy Epcot. Thank you guys so it. much for being here. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you. We'd love to have you along with us in the future. Let's do this. And based on the parking lot, guys, when we were parking, um, I think a lot of folks are here to see Simple Plan as well today. Yeah, it's a very full parking lot, but the lines aren't terrible for rides, which makes me well, think... That's why I think they're here to see Simple Plan. Yeah, the line for uh, the next showing of Simple Plan might be pretty long. Okay. Yeah, they have about uh, three sets, guys. Um, the second set begins at what, 6.30? 6.45. 6.45. 5.30, 6.45, p.m. Hey Jeff Condon. Good to see you, Jeff. Hey Marty Hey Marty. Hey Joey G. Good to see you, Joey. Huh? We're glad you're all here today. Thank you for being here. It is a little busy here. Is. Guest Relations has a pretty long line. <laughs> hey, Will the Thriller. Hey, Hannah. I just put out, I included two of our newest emojis. Uh, so if you're a YouTube channel member, you have access to those. Absolutely. 93 degrees, 52% humidity. I believe it. It's hot.
So, where are we off to first? Uh, the creation shop. Right over here? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Do you think it's behind the counter? I don't see them behind the counter. Why don't we ask a cast member? Makes sense to me. may not have them in this park. They also may not have them in this park. Okay. No? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. I'm just trying to give you back your phone. Alright. Okay. You could have asked me. I understand. Alright, so I see a lot of new Oswald. Is that a new Oswald mode over there? No. That's been around. Okay. For the pin. For the six two, I'm looking for the six two six uh, pins today, guys. It's supposed to be like um, a lot of them, <laughs> but they don't. I don't know. Oh. All right. Let's right. uh, just. You want to ask another cast member and see if. Uh, they... Oh my goodness! The brand new tumblers. What? Show those. That's the brand new. Uh, the brand new Starbucks uh, water tumblers. Gotcha. And that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I love the metallic. Green. I like how it has each of the parts on it. Very cool. What are these around? Um, $35. Oh, we could have done the gas in game. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. Jerry says, I do like that, but I bet it's not dishwasher safe. I think you're probably onto something there, Jerry. Let's see. Hand wash only, do not microwave. Well, I mean, it is stainless steel. Right. Yeah. I just mean as far as the hand wash part. Just because of the uh, design that's uh, on it. I like to try to connect them. Where it kind of makes more visible sense. Gotcha. There you go, I can like, kind of see all the sides now. Francois says, I need that cup. Isn't it pretty? I love how it says Walt Disney World, so it's not just park specific, it's kind of just like all the parks. Well, it's showing all the parks. <laughs> well, just because the other tumblers were specific to each park. Gotcha. That's Wayne, cool. I am not wearing really long sleeves. Monica is, though. No, I'm, I'm just wearing kind of a Hawaiian shirt that has stitch on it. Uh, and the only Jeff reason Hanna. I was wearing this one is because it's my only um, it's my only stitch shirt. So. Right. Jeff Conant says too decorative. I'd never use them. Exactly. That's kind of fair. Yeah. They're pretty heavy. They're a reasonable feeling, uh, a solid material there. Do you want me to go ask those cast members about the stitch pins? Sure. Okay. In the meantime, guys, they still have 50th anniversary merchandise. Some of the statues here. Hey, Kevin Coda, good to see you. Even some of the ornaments here. Do you want to? Who is this? Me too. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm fighting my brain. I was like, where'd you go? Right here. They sold out. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, I didn't think of uh, the pin store before we even came over ah, here. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. That's where we should have looked. 
Do you want to go I back feel and silly. check Well, they said they're completely sold out. Oh, I mean, like we can wide. we can go no at that store. Oh, here at great. Oh, at the pin store. At the pin store. Gotcha. That's, That's the only location that had it. Yeah. Understood. I mean, we can go and look real quick because we do have a little bit of time. Yeah, we have a little bit. You want to go over there real quick? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got to go that way. We do. Uh, well, I guess now we can go out this door. Hey, Coda! Kevin Coda's using the new emoji. Oh, the plenty, plenty of time. Of time. <laughs> we hope you guys like the new emojis. We worked hard on those. We were still, uh... Still working on them right before the le right before leaving for the live stream, so uh, they're very fresh. <laughs> hey Spectro, hey Morgs, hey, hey Lily. Lily, hey military fans. Oh, yep. People's coming in to see Simple Plan. Oh yeah, lots of Simple Plan uh, people. <laughs> Let's see. Hey Mike, hey Kenneth. Hey Cargo. So guys, Monica's looking for a uh, stitch pin. Uh, she wants to see it in person. They claimed they sold out at the creation shop. We're gonna go check the uh, pin store and see about that. Just to make sure. Why not? Just go look, you know? Hey, Simon Rogers! Hey, Sarah! Hey, Bo Peep, my girl! And Disney Mom 19 if you're there! Jim Dempsey says, isn't a stitch pin called a needle? <laughs> That is a very fair point. All right. So the stitch, uh, stitch, the pin store is over here on the left. It's called the uh, Pin Traders and Camera Center. So as you come into the park, it's under the right side of Spaceship Earth. No, then it gets hotter. Alright, let's look for it. Oh, I think that's what everybody's in line for. I think so. Let's get in line. I guess so. In the meantime, these are for you. These are from Monsters University. I see. They've got uh, some of the stitch pins back there. Oh, okay, yeah. I think so. Hey, Wayne. Ooh, what's for dinner, Wayne? You guys, go ahead. Everything that's here is also listed in the display case over there. Oh, it's in the... Do you okay, want to go sit in I don't want to see it. I want to see it like without the, without the glare. If that's all right. Yeah, because in the case, you don't really get to see it well. 
Gotcha. Oh wow, do they have them all here? Oh wow, okay, so they're all still available. That's pretty awesome. Oh wow, they're in sleeves and everything? Yeah. Yeah, this one is like the largest one, the 626. That's like a four piece set. Is that crazy? So the uh, the giant one, how much does that run? I'm going to go uh, one by one through with gotcha. you guys. This one's $74.99. $74.99. How much is that one? Wow. This one's $39.99. Okay, now I can bring Yeah, so this is the largest of the new collection for Stitch 626. And this one costs $74.99. That's crazy. And the two has a big bite out of it, which is really awesome. It is. All right, the second largest one is this one. Do you want any of these? And that's Stitch in his space pod. And he's having such a fun time. This one is $39.99. That one's really fun. And then here is the mystery set, Experiment 626. It costs $24.99. I think you get two, right? Yeah, you get two of these. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I love how you have like Santa Stitch, Sleepy Stitch. I might want to get this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. That's really cool. And then we have three more pins to go through real quick here. We have the spinny one. You'll have um, Reuben. This one here was 29. And then you have Stitch. Oh, I, oh, I spun too much. And then there's Angel. That's so cool. This one costs $21.99. And this is the spinning one. That's pretty cool. Let's not let him fall just yet. Okay. This one's pretty cool. And then he just goes in there. Like so. And this one's $21.99. And let's see the last one. This is the last one. And he's in his... Uh, is experimental chamber. That one's $21.99. And I think he moves. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, no, you're, you're, you're doing separate. All right. So that's all those brand new stitch pins for 66 day. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. So. You ready to head towards America then? Yeah, I was just gonna hand sanitize real quick. Gotcha. Those are the brand new uh, 626 stitch pins. Uh, we're just released today. I'm glad that they still have all of them available. I'm glad we came to look. All right. <laughs> so true, Joey. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, there's been a bit of interest in those pins today. <laughs> Heat is just getting to folks, you know? Yeah, the AC wasn't even blowing in there. It was on. Was it? Yeah. But not uh not well. Gotcha. Well guys, we're gonna head towards the American Pavilion. Their uh concert is at 645 EDT. So we gotta make our way over there, see how the line is. We'll start from the left side, start from uh Mexico and make our way around World Showcase so that we can find the end of the line. If it's not too bad, we'll uh, do some other things before we join it. And if it's really long, then we'll just, you know, have to join it uh, pretty soon. Thank you, everybody, so much for 100 likes. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Goofy Guy agreed. Too many open doors and the AC isn't pumping where it needs to be for this uh, Florida heat today. For sure. Hey, Nikki Mouse. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hey, Kyle R. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Cherie Marie. So, so Cargo, tonight it's Simple Plan. Yeah, today's the last uh, day to enjoy Simple Plan for the Garden Rocks Festival here at Epcot. Yeah, the... Right. Um, 
I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. What happened? I lost my train of thought there for a second. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, so. Raphael. Raphael said these are awesome. I have a huge stitch pin collection. Sad I'm not there for the 66. You know, they might also be available on Shop Disney. I didn't, I'm not sure about that. I think somebody was saying that they are available on uh, Shop Disney. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, and as far as Simple Plan goes, guys, if you're uh, curious at all about who that is, you may know uh, songs like I'm Just a Kid. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. Uh, what's their uh, second biggest one that I'm trying to forget the name of? They have of. a few new uh, songs out, too. Like the one, if you guys follow us on Instagram, the one we put on the uh, story. Oh, Summer Paradise. Summer Paradise featuring uh, Sean Paul. That's one of their newer songs, which is pretty good. I, I liked it. Yeah. Oh, Welcome to My Life. That's that's another huge one of theirs. Well, that's true. Hey, Tempest. Good to see you, Tempest. Hey, Caleb. That is true, Kylar. They did sing the uh, theme for What's New Scooby-Doo. That was one of the songs. I was like looking to see which song I wanted to put for the Instagram story today and I did see What's New Scooby-Doo. I was very tempted to put that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, Summer Paradise is one of their newer ones with Sean Paul, so I went with that one. Hey, Andrew. Yes, 4th of July is next Tuesday. That came quickly. It did. So guys, recently the walls came down right here. You can actually still see where the walls used to be here in the pavement. And these restrooms here by the land have reopened. So if you're looking for a restroom in this area of the park, you can actually find them right here. That's a good sign for uh, further improvement on Walcott, further uh, reduction of the walls around the park, and uh, further things opening up, which is really cool. You're absolutely correct about that, Francois. Simple Plan came out of Quebec in 1999. So now we can actually see the uh, Lion King topiaries from the backside. That's pretty cool. New view on the topiaries we weren't able to see before. That's true. Thank you, Mariam, for linking our Instagram. If you guys uh, would like to follow us on there, that'd be awesome. We're getting closer to 1,000 followers on there. Say hi, Simba. Hey, Francois. Hey, Theme Park Fanatic. Happy Monday, Disney Kim. Progress, exactly, Mariam. Exactly. Mandato. Theme park fanatic, you have no power. <laughs> he might have been. Hey, Candace. Hey, John. Oh, Nikki, did you see our uh, new emojis? Oh my goodness, Nikki! We made them! <coughs> well, we hope you get it back soon, Theme Park Fanatic. Yes, best of luck. That is the loop. Alright, so, plenty of time is one of them. And the other one is Coffee Cold Brew. <laughs> And Nikki says, oh my god, yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Glad you like it, Nikki. We were talking about this uh, yesterday, guys, if you weren't um, in our Mountain Challenge live stream uh, that we just had on Sunday. We were like, we need to make a cold brew emoji. Yeah, so we did. Like a cold coffee, because we rarely get hot coffee. Like iced coffee, cold coffee, cold brew. Yeah. All those really awesome things. Hey Barbara Toft, great to see you guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful Monday. Nikki's like, finally some representation. <laughs> <laughs> hey 
She said it's so stinking cute. Oh, thank you, Nikki. I don't know. Oh, that's a great strategy, Theme Park Fanatic. Yeah, if you don't have power at the moment, uh, Starbucks with AC, it sounds great. Goodness gracious, we're gonna do a simple plan from here. Yeah, it's very loud. It's... I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days we wish we brought uh, some ear protection, I think. <laughs> I know, I always, I always forget to remember to bring out earplugs for the concerts. Oh my goodness, the, the line, line is in Italy at least. Oh wow, okay, let's get in the line, guys. I was like, hey, Holy smokes, that line is very long. It is. Hey, Kirstie Jane. Hey, Kirstie Jane. Hope you and Michael are having a wonderful Monday. And hope your daughter's wedding is, the plans are coming along wonderfully as well. Absolutely. Also, we don't have a brawly today, so I can't get in trouble. Oh yeah, no brawly today. <laughs> Granted, I think I should have brought one in my backpack. Oh. Yeah, we might be standing in that line for a little while. Simon. <laughs> I don't think we Simon says, talking of representation, thanks for this emoji of me. And then he put an egg. Oh no. <laughs> Mini Mika, uh, hey, and uh, you can find all the information for Disney Food Boost and the festivals on the Disney website. Absolutely. Hey, right. Paolo's Adventures, Simple Plan is the band that is playing this evening. Hey, Tony. Yeah, Everest wasn't bad. Like around the world tour. Oh my goodness, Raphael. Welcome to being a park hopper. Thank you so much, Raphael. We hope that you enjoy the emojis. We appreciate that. Welcome aboard, Raphael. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's uh, find our way through the crowd. Yeah. Theme Park Fanatics is going to Food and Wine Festival this year. Excited for that. That's awesome. Yeah, Food and Wine's a good one. Uh, I'm not sure. What would your favorite festival be, honey? Um, for food, for entertainment. Just overall. in general. Yeah. Um, that's for the holidays. You think so? That's my choice. I think mine is still uh, is Flower and Garden, which is what we're in right now. Uh, mainly because it was our first festival together. I think that would be my favorite. It's very hot, but uh, the concerts are great. The topiaries are really neat, and the food's really good. That's true. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> Nikki Mouse is like, hey, Christy Jane, did you see the adorable new emoji? Ah, I'm in love. <laughs> Oh, wanted to show this real quick also. An update on the On, on the, the lagoon. Lake? So out here in the center of the lagoon, guys, see these pylons? These are some of the first construction for the brand new fireworks show that'll be coming to replace Epcot forever. So that should be coming later on this year. And here are some of the, uh, some of the first bits of construction for that. So that's pretty cool. Beautiful out today. So pretty. Very hot though. But very hot. Still very pretty. More progress, exactly, Marty M. <laughs> so true. Hey, Tink for Life Jones. Caitlin, put your Anything is better than the taco bar, just... Oh, there you go. You see it? Is frozen? Yeah. CNM Custom Science is in the house. Hey, Nick Avalos. Good to see you again. <laughs> Wayne says, oh no, something else to block the view? 
I don't think it'll be quite as obstructive as Harmonious was, but they are building something there in the center of the lake. Thank you so much, Tony. <laughs> I think those are both very good names. Floating tacos. Beautiful space there that the uh, Where is this line? Goodness. Sorry about that lag, everybody. We should be back now. There might be a bit of that today because Epcot is very busy and the sun is very much here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Marion. All right. Oh, you're good. I can't believe I totally forgot to bring the brolly. Like, for the sun. Sorry. I didn't think about it. I forgot that even though it's uh, 6 p.m. in the afternoon, the sun doesn't go away for another two hours, so. That's true. Happy Stitch Day, Mike. Happy Stitch Day. Ted Van Lahr, in about 35 minutes, the next uh, concert starts. Sounds like the uh, Germans are having a good time over here. Sounds like it. Well, we found where everybody in the park is. I don't think that's where everybody in the no. park is. No, I'm just saying like this stretch between Germany and America. Oh yeah, that was a wee bit crowded, but nothing like what the concert is. That is true. Good news is the line's not all the way out here in Germany right now. That's true. Hey Debbie. Hey Stephanie. Oh, my chat stopped. Uh oh. Oh, Chrissy Jane said, by the way, I had to Google simple plan. <laughs> Well, guys, if you are not familiar with Simple Plan, look them up on Google, YouTube, like Spotify, Pandora, whatever your uh, method of choice. They're like quite, they're they're pretty popular, and then, I mean, a lot of the songs were on the radio for a long time. So hopefully you recognize some of the songs. Hopefully you like some of the songs. I'm thinking we should go. All right. Oh no, we're going straight. We are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang it right. There we go. Just trying to get through. I understand. Uh, All right. Let's get in that line, right, don't we? Yeah. The sooner the better. That is true. Or not. The entire party is here at this time. All right, not even uh, splitting up right now. Shift the entire line this way. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. It is hot. I need the brolly. <laughs> Hopefully they'll let us in soon, since they're uh, already wanting to make sure that everybody's in here. Hey, corn dog, Jimmy. Good to see you, guys. We're gonna refresh real quick just so I can get chat back. If you will uh, give us just a moment, we'll be right back. Hey, Shumpy. Be right back, everybody.
<laughs> Nick Avalos says the entire party is here, all 340 of us. <laughs> That's awesome. That's something I didn't consider, Joey G. That's a really awesome thing that uh, they formed in 99 and they're all still together. There's not a lot of bands that can say that. That's true. Hey, that Florida feeling? <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us know that we're back. We appreciate that. There will be seating, Johnny. Uh, we'll do our best to find the best seat we can find. Yeah, the next uh, set, set number two, is going to begin at 6.30, guys. So, not too long. Yeah, we've got about uh, 32 minutes before the 6.45 showing. I wonder if they sell a brawly in the Italy store. <laughs> <laughs> you want to turn it around and show them how much we're melting? Sure. You want to do on my right side or left side? Uh, which side? I mean, I've been on both all day. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it is. So hey guys, Nick Avalos, head bangs out of excitement. <laughs> well, the thriller oh, says. Now there's a little bit of sun cloud. And how I look like I'm lying. No. Well, the thriller says, Park Hoppers, did you know Simple Plan had a song? But Molly Crew put the song on one of their albums. Really? Oh, no idea. That's good to know. Hey, Speechless and Disney. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Angela. No, no worries, guys. It's it's a very hot one. But unfortunately, we have to get used to that because it's only going to get hotter. Yeah, but normally we would have our, our brawly with us right now. That's true. Yeah. Hey, Brian. The shift manager is saying, question, could those things they're building in the lagoon, could that be for the 4th of July show? It certainly oh, could. That's possible. Be implemented as a part of that. Uh, every, everything that we were finding online was saying that it was uh, being built for the new show, but the fact of the matter is once it's there it can be used for anything. So uh, Fourth of July is already right around the corner. It's about a week away. So. I don't know. I got scared by the bee that came really close to you. Well thank you Mike. Yeah, we wore our, uh, our stitch vest for a 66 day. Yeah, I wish I had one of these, uh, like Eric, um, but I don't. I just had uh, my spirit jersey. So, spirit jersey is what I'm wearing today. Hopefully the, uh, the sun goes down soon so that uh, I'm not melting. Alicia, Simple Plan is playing tonight. How are you doing? Hi. Man? Always good. Who are we speaking to? Melanie. Melanie. Hey, Melanie. Melanie. Good How to are meet you. Both? We're, We're doing good. good. We're melting in the sun right now. Yeah. It's very it's hot. Very this is my only stitch uh, shirt, which is a How scary can jersey. Wear it on I'm kind of dying. I, I'm regretting my life choices right now. <laughs> I look at life choices wearing like a tank top dress all the time. Oh my gosh. Would you like my to fan say just sure. died. Your fan just. Oh. Oh no. I'm in trouble. Guys, it's Melanie. Hello. Are you here to see a uh, simple plan today? Uh, or? From above. From above. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. I saw them on Friday from above. Yesterday from above. <laughs> today from above. <laughs> I mean, it's it's better than from the sun. You know? I tried seeing them. So I sat in a bench and I was like, I feel like I'm just seeing them sitting down. Sometimes. Because everybody else is yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah standing wow. uh, concerts. This thing has never died on me. Seriously? It has never died on me. And it is the one day that and I don't have a charge day, of that. We don't have anything. I'm <laughs> like, no, this is like not cool. <laughs> oh my God. I even charged it the other day. Oh, you know what it was? We did the mountain challenge yesterday. Oh, and I had it on the whole time almost. And then I forgot to charge it. Did it work for you? The fan? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, this is great. This thing's like normally my lifesaver, except for when I forget to charge it. Then, you know, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's exactly like me with fuel rods. Like, I always forget which one I've exchanged and which one I haven't. And then I plug both in and I'm like, I don't understand why my phone's at 80%. Just wanted to say, so Cargo is saying, oh, I love Mel, she's a doll. I love Cargo. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to meet you guys. It's a pleasure. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not normally this sweaty, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I had a shower earlier at Pop Century. I I'm swear I... I'm pretty sure I showered this week. We're good, you know? It's disgusting. I'm, it's, <laughs> it's so, so hot, hot today. Like, 
this is, I normally have the brawly, I normally have a, a working fan. I'm not normally in a spirit jersey. It's like, what what happened today? So <laughs> I, went, I went to Epcot for um, early entry. And by like 10 a.m. it was 100 and like nine degrees. <laughs> I'm like, I am not going to yeah. be no. that long. Right. Yeah, disgusting. The it's worst so part of the day is usually two to four. I've heard that. But lately, into five or six, like, it's, it's just there's it's six, very little breeze. Right now, and, yeah. this is not like this is yeah, this is intense. <laughs> I don't get who can ever enjoy Cargo <laughs> says, <laughs> yeah. Cargo says, tell Mel it's even really hot back home today. Oh my goodness. See, I've learned to operate in Fahrenheit versus Celsius. So, someone could be like, oh, it's 30 something Celsius. And I'm like, I don't get that. <laughs> yeah, I think it was 33 Celsius yesterday. It felt like it was 40, which. It was bad yesterday, but not this bad. No, today, not this bad. today the real fill in Magic Kingdom, I think, when I checked earlier, was 111. And it's like, that's, you, that's not okay. That's dangerous. That's. Like, okay, it says the real feel right now is 98. I feel like it's a lot worse. Well, you are in a spiritual oh, Well, don't mention that. Don't talk what about that. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> so we use a couple of them. Uh, the, the one, one that we. I'm looking at right now is the AccuWeather one. Yeah. I feel like that one's always an accurate. We, uh, we joke about how inaccurate AccuWeather can be. Um, That's true. Yeah, it, it's showing me, because uh, I'm going based off the Star Wars uh, hotel. Oh, I'm going based off Epcot. Oh, you have Epcot, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Epcot says right now it's 92, but the real feel in the sun is 98. Wow. But then, you know, had a spirit jersey and it's probably like 200, right? <laughs> it's the effort that counts. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Not, it's stitch day. It is stitch day. I know, it's stitch day. I'm like, why don't I not have a normal t shirt with stitch other than a I spare feel like jersey? There isn't a stitch t shirt, though. I think, oh, hello, B. Yep, there's going to be lots of bees. Lots of bees. If they're not with you, they're going to have to wait outside the row until we get this entire line ready to go find shade. Yeah. It was nice to meet it's you both. Pressure, great absolutely. to meet you, Melanie. Have a great day. You too. We hope you find shade. She will find shade. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, it is so, so hot right now. This it is, is insane. Incredible. I can't believe my fan died. I forgot to charge it yesterday after the Mountain Challenge day. I feel so silly right now. Do you want to put it, uh, well I guess you can't put it in my bag. But, no, uh, I'll put it in my backpack now. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, Amanda in Arizona says it's 106 degrees there. Stay safe guys. I think there were some hikers in uh, one of those national parks I'm trying to think of, uh, it was 116 degrees and they just did not make it. That's uh, horrible. Thought, yeah, it's just, the heat is incredible out there right now. Yeah. Just all across is... the country and like the, the continent up yeah. in Canada too. <laughs> Chrissy Jane says, all this hot weather sounds super. Stitch weather. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> hey Marie, this line is for Simple Plan for um, the Garden Rocks Festival. Well, Garden Rocks concert, concert series, series, which is a for... part of the Flower and Garden, uh, the International Flower and Garden Festival here at Epcot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna work on getting my fan in my backpack <laughs> while also getting water because if not, I am going to pass out. Joey G says 82 here, not to brag or anything. 82, that sounds fantastic. Can you send us some cool weather, please? It's bad when you say oh 82 sounds fantastic. Well, it? yeah, when it's like 98 here. Is, is this TMI or anything? Like just showing the sweat beating? Oh like my that's, God. It's so yeah. bad. It's, it's bad. <laughs> hey, Gerard. Hey, JJ Mickey. Hey, JJ Mickey. Happy Monday. Happy Stitch Day, guys. Happy Stitch Day. Hannah says Texas has been uh, hot, as hot as 115 degrees. My goodness. Wow. We'll turn it around and show you guys our like, beautiful, sweaty faces. Yes, because they will only become more sweaty. <laughs> I know. I'm like, before it becomes worse, we should like say hi personally again for anybody just joining us. So I'm just getting my water back in my backpack and the then turn very, it around when you're ready. Yep, the very front of the line is just starting to move in. So we will oh, be moving into the uh, into the theater here in about uh, probably five, six minutes by the time it probably gets back to us. 
<laughs> as, long oh, as, we're, as long as we're moving in, I think that's good. Do you want to turn around and say that's hello good. to anybody who just came in? So hi everybody. Hi. We're here to see Simple Plan today. Uh, this is the 6:45 showing. Uh, we look forward to uh, moving into the uh, into the theater. Tell them to go to the end of the line. We are the park hoppers. <laughs> I like Chris Chatterjee. We are the park hoppers for Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. Uh, we just did the mountain challenge yesterday. That's where we rode Seven Dwarves Mine Train, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, and Expedition Everest all in one day. Yeah. Uh, and tomorrow we're going back to Magic Kingdom for a Take It Easy Tuesday. If all that sounds like stuff that you'd like to be a part of in the future, guys, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. It's a hot one, guys. Let's get in there and enjoy Simple Plan. Yeah, we're moving. Well, we're not moving, but the front of the line is moving. So, like, that's progress. That is progress. And progress is good, right? Progress is good. My hair is so crazy right now. Oh, Chrissy Jane. I have also stitch earrings. Stitch earrings. Yes. I wanted to show Chrissy Jane. <laughs> And anybody else who loves Stitch as much as we do. <laughs> Let's see, Charles says, I can't believe Simple Plan is playing at Epcot. So cool, yeah, it's awesome. Hey, Magically Ever, Melanie, great to see ya. How oh, Melanie's like, it was great to meet you both finally, yes. It was a pleasure, Melanie. It's day, stay under shade, stay cool, enjoy the show, and thank you again so much for taking time to say hi. Absolutely. Eric's like, you should have just done the earrings and a t-shirt. I, I, a stitch day, you know, I wanted, I have a stitch spirit jersey and I'm like, I have to wear it, I have to. I have that too, and yeah, I'm not wearing that. I know, because you have this awesome other stitch shirt. I don't have this awesome other stitch shirt. I only have this awesome stitch shirt. And this is like the breathable spirit jersey that too, guys. One. Like, heads up, because uh, spirit jersey for Disney, they do do, um, they have a one that's more breathable, the fabric, mm -hmm. and Stitch and the Lion King ones are the two I have that are the breathable fabric. Which, I mean, it is much more breathable than a regular spirit jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Angela says, Monica, do we need to get you a new fan? We oh my just, God. Oh, that's okay. What happened was yesterday during the mountain challenge, guys, I had it on almost the whole time. And I, I forgot to charge my fan last night. I don't know how, but I did. All right, the state. Oh, what happened? Did you just... They got permission from the cast members. Oh, how do we get permission from cast members to do such things? Anyway, guys, we're going to turn it around <laughs> so that we can take you guys into yeah. the concert. And we'll go from there. Yeah, all right. Okay. Are you, I did, are you all right? Yep. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Oh, he ran into me. Is it on my face? It is, it is on your head and it flew off. Okay, thank You're you, good. for leaving. <laughs> Are you sure it's gone? Yep, it's gone. I kind of freaked out. But you can't freak out when it be lands on you. Nope. So I did the total wrong thing. Gotta stay calm. I know. It's hard. <laughs> Joseph says, hello, park hoppers. No more coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell you what, I do like her loungy, though. She has a goofy movie loungy. Oh, that's I'm awesome. Is it a lounge fly or is it? Yeah, that's 100% a lounge fly. <laughs> Sorry. Are you asking me if it's a lounge fly? I just didn't see the little placard that says lounge fly. The placard's on the side. Okay. It's on the side pocket on the right hand side. Understood. Yes. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey Jabs! Kind of like these two are going to bake. Uh. Extra crispy today. <laughs> these things happen. It's Florida. Well, hopefully we get a spot with shade in the um, in the theater here. Hopefully we get a spot in the theater. And I'm just glad that bee didn't sting my face. So yeah, I'm not sure what it was. It wasn't a bee, though. Oh, it wasn't a bee? No. Oh. What kind of looks it? like a stink bug or something. Oh, well, whatever it was, I'm very glad it did not stink me. That's fair. Hey, Carl. Yes, lots of water. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the shade feels so much better, guys. Like a thousand <laughs> times better in the shade right now.
Is there another line? Sam says for a band, people had to Google. This seems like a very large crowd. I think that's the line for the last show. Yep, they're already lined up for the last show. They're like, you know what, we're not going to get a great spot for this one, so we're going to wait yeah. for the next one. Okay. Yeah. We're going to see. No, I, I know we're going to get a seat, but I don't know that we're going to find shade. Oh, that's a, another thing entirely. Yep. Let's see how front we can get. Okay. What do you think? I think just, just as long as we're not behind a tree. Yeah. No. But yeah, we can try to... Like right up here? Or up here? I see a spot up front if you want. I don't know what you want that. Right. We can try. Huh? Oh. What do you think? The longer we stand, the... How do you leave shade? <laughs> Gosh. It's a hot one. It's hot, but you know, in the shade, it feels like a thousand degrees so much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were standing in the sun till we got here, and it's not great. <laughs> That is cool. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know why every year, you know, I've been here over 30 years, but like every year that summer surprises you. You get out there, you spend an hour or two. I mean, and I like, expect oh. it, but it never gets better. No. That's true. <laughs> and today was Stitch Day, so um, I, this is my only Stitch shirt, and I'm stubborn. So I was like, you know, I'm going to be fine. And I'm like, oh. A very bad life choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I might get a scissor somewhere at an arts and crafts place over here. <laughs> Ask for some ice somewhere and just just drop it in the shirt. <laughs> hey Enos! Hey Second Hand Disney! Kenneth says after the show, quick water ride. <laughs> I wish there was like a splash bound in Tempe. Jim Schroeder's like, great job, Monica, you got shade. Okay. Angela's like, poor Monica. <laughs> no, no, I made this choice, guys. It's my fault. I take a, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. We're at Disney. Can't complain too much, you know? Exactly. Well, the thriller is like, why no fans on the roof or on the ceiling? Maybe because they have to have too much electrical equipment and they don't want to, like, overwhelm the right. power boards. Yeah. But if they had fans, that would be kind of cool. That would be. So Cargo's like, too bad your favorite seamstress is in a whole other country, eh? Oh no, Cargo, if you were here, yes, you can make this like a, a sleeveless shirt. <laughs> oh Marty, my gosh. Marty M says, new priority for Monica, a short sleeve stitch shirt. Yes, that is a new priority, guys. There was a new stitch shirt that I was thinking about getting, I never got it. You know, it was like the white with the black one? splatter, like paint splatters. Mm. That one was a cool one. Hey, Kit! <laughs> that's a very good strategy, CM. Oh, that's true, CM. I didn't think of that either. We were just in a hurry leaving the house and we're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. We can't miss simple plan today. Right? Hey, Mary. Hope you, Adam, Blake, and uh, Reba are doing well. Hey, Jalissa. That's a great question, Nick. Um, I don't think that they're going to be too keen on a mosh pit here. <laughs> no, maybe not at Disney. But that would be pretty crazy to see if that ever happens. They'd have to clear out a lot of benches. <laughs> I don't think you have. Okay, let me roll up my sleeve a little. So, this is my brand new magic band, guys. Thanks to Nikki. It's the Munchling one, so you have Stitch here, Eeyore, my favorite, Minnie. On the other side, you have Mickey and Winnie the Pooh. It's really cute. Yeah, that's my new magic band. Very cute. 
<laughs> Nick's like, I'll mouse right here in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Mona Mouse. I do like how all the music that they play before the sets are uh, some of the hits from the other bands that played during the Garden Rocks concert series. So you've got uh, Don't Fear the Reaper by the Blue Oyster Cult playing right now. Oh yeah, they were they were awesome and they were so nice too afterwards. We got yeah. pictures with them. That was really cool. JJ Mickey says, I'm excited for Simple Minds or Simply Red or who's this band again? Simple Plan, JJ Mickey. Almost certainly you've heard of some of their songs uh, without realizing it. Hey Amanda! Yes, completely agreed. Eric's camera skills are on point. Oh, Charles Dominguez says, How's the box doing for the Munchlings band? Is it safe somewhere? It really is, Charles. <laughs> we picked like the most, uh, the least dented box and the best looking band, so I'm happy with that. Because it's an expensive magic band, this one. It is. Now, honey, if I can have you hold the gimbal for a moment. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Epcot today and enjoying the park with you guys. Oh, Joseph, no hot dog water. Uh, that's only at Casey's Corner over at Magic Kingdom. But yeah, this is pretty, it's a pretty full house. And uh, the line for the, what, what's the last time for the show at 8? 8 p.m. Yeah, the 8 p.m. already has a line outside as well. Hey, Bill Greenleaf. Hey, BMCK. Yeah, this is Simple Plan, guys. Angela says, I love Simple Plan when I was younger. Is this a band you guys listen to? I just realized I have no idea how old you guys are. <laughs> we have listened to... We listen to everything, really. Yeah, many, many decades of music. So... What time is this concert set for? 6.45? 6.45. Okay. So we've got a, just over 10 minutes. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Tracy Me. And guys, if you're just joining us, we are here to enjoy Simple Plan. <laughs> hey, Jen Evans. Let's see if we can do anything about the uh, overexposed light there. It's a little better. Christy Jane says, a simple plan is a good lesson for life. You know, it's important to be a simple kind of man, uh, Christy Jane. BMCK, thank you so much for the 99 cent super sticker. Thank you so much, BMCK. BMCK says thanks for doing the show. Absolutely. The mayor says good evening, Park Hoppers and Disney family. Always driving this time, driving home. Well, thank you for driving home and uh, saying hello, the mayor. Be safe. Hey, Jenna. Hey, Guillermo. Oh no, Sam, I'm sorry. But it's important to be a simple kind of man. Oh, that's a good point, Eric. Frozen has a 46 minute wait right now. That's crazy. 46 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Everyone is here for the concert. Yeah, when we were like parking, we're like, oh, wow, we're gonna be here for a while. 
we got to head to that line pretty darn soon. Absolutely. But I also wanted to show the uh, 626 Stitch Day uh, pins that were just released today. Yeah. Hey, Shoshana B. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mr. Trotter. Well, the thriller says, Park Hoppers, ask Pierre Bouvoir, uh, Pierre Bouvoir from Super Plant for some water to dump on Monica. <laughs> that would be great. You say it on Custom Science. I hope they do that one song. <laughs> yeah, they have a few uh, popular hits. They do. Hopefully they do a lot of them on this stuff. Because I'm not sure if we'll get uh, so lucky with the seats on the last stuff, you know? True. Hey, even from Newfoundland. That's awesome. Zori says dinner was good, now time for strawberry ice cream. That's awesome, Zori. Enjoy, Zori. BMCK says I'm old. I remember when they were new. Yeah, I... Yeah. I feel that. The fact of the matter is uh, the Garden Rocks concert series is... Uh, supposed to be focused on uh, bands from yesterday kind of thing. Is the idea, and so the fact that Simple Plan could even be considered a part of yesterday is is kind of mind-boggling. Of course, even. Oh wow, Michael says 105 here in South Texas. That's crazy. That is crazy. Stay safe. Hey guys, we've got about five minutes before Simple Plan. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a very appropriate song right now. Burning up. Like, <laughs> burning yeah, for you? Burning for you, yeah. Kind of burning, but because of the sort of heat. <laughs> Eric! Eric S, thank you so much for your uh, $15 Venmo. Thank you. Hopefully to at least partially cover a cool drink after the show. Thank you so much, Eric S. Thank you so much, Eric. I guess let's turn it around real quick. Thank you so much, Eric S. We appreciate that. Thank you so much, Eric. We'll, uh, we'll have to stop by Joffrey's or something between uh, sets in order to get a drink of some kind. Maybe. Some, yeah. Maybe something at Joffrey's would be nice. Something cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much again, Eric. Thank really you, Eric. really appreciate the Venmo. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll get you guys turned back around and get ready for the show in about five minutes. We'll have Simple Plan out. Yes. Uh, is that the button? That's the button. All right. Welcome to the America Gardens Theater for tonight's Garden Rocks concert series. Featuring the one and only Simple Plan. Settle in and get ready to rock out as this legendary band performs some of their great hits just for you. The concert will begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. Erica says, my pleasure. It looks brutal out there. Appreciate you all braving the heat to let us all watch. Well, we appreciate you guys joining us. Alright, be prepared because I think uh, a lot of people are probably going to stand up during the whole... Um, 
show. Yeah, I expect it. I'm gonna try to stand a little bit out of the rows a little bit. They, see if I can. Yeah, they might not be a thing, but you, I mean. I'll try to go right on the edge because I think most people are gonna compress in, and I think we'll be able to avoid a lot of heads that way. Yeah, as long as you're still in the bench row, you know. Yeah. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. Oh, enjoy seeing them. Grilled cheeses sound fantastic. I can't right. remember the last time we had a grilled cheese. Uh, the fancy one that we had at uh, one of the festivals here. Oh, I don't... It wasn't really that fancy. It wasn't just cheese and white bread. <laughs> it it kind of was. It had some fancy cheese, though. Yeah, maybe. And some meat in there, too, I think. Um, it was the one we had for the... Uh, which festival was it? Is that for Flower the... and Garden? No. No, no, no. The There's other one. one. No, the one between those two. There is nothing between yes, those two. Yes, there is. The Art Festival? That the Festival of the Arts? Festival of the Arts. Well, that's that's after Festival of the Holidays. Yeah, but that's after Food and Wine. Dip Tech? Yes. It's all a big... Su yeah. Okay. <laughs> it depends on the perspective that you're looking at the situation. It's a circle. Oh, we're gonna say Queenie's Crossing. Hey, Nathan. Bacon and pimento cheese. Thank you so much, JJ Mickey. Yes, exactly. Thank you, JJ Mickey. I think there were tomatoes also. It, it, it also came with a tomato soup. There weren't any green tomatoes on it, though? I think there were supposed to be. Okay. And it didn't have that. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm remembering them then. There is like two different variations of the grilled cheese as well. Oh, okay. Wayne said, I had to Google the band. I was confusing them with Simply Red. I'm sorry about that, Wayne. Cargo says, you guys are making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Cargo. All right, guys. In less than a minute, we'll have Simple Plan out here. Plus All right, be ready for people to stand. Oh, yeah. Because it just might happen. But it maybe not. I expect it to. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, everybody, for 200 likes. We hope you guys enjoy Simple Plan.
incredible. Give it up for yourselves. And let's give a special shout out to the people over here standing in the sun. Oh, wow, yeah. A little extra hot for you guys, isn't it? All right, well, you guys enjoying your day at Disney World or what? We have had a blast. Today is our fourth day up here. We have ridden all the rides, had such a good time. It's almost time to say goodbye. We got a couple more, couple more for you guys. But uh, always a pleasure to be out here, isn't it, Sebastian? It's magical. Thank you. <laughs> Very accurate. All right. So, do we have any hardcore Simple Plan fans out there? song from our new album that came out last year, okay? So if you're a true hardcore fan, maybe you've heard this one before. Here's song. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong song. Pause that. But Jeff's like, no. This song is called Jet Lag.
Yeah, it's a hot one today. Yeah, I like the heat. I went on that side for half a song. No. Yeah, this is better. You guys are the bravest over here. You and Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeff. Jeff, you're listening. <laughs> no, we're doing great. But we love being here. We've been doing this show for many years now. If you don't know, we play this show almost every year. We try to come out here and play for you guys. Was anybody here last year for this show? Thank you, Thank you very much. This no is way. awesome. The first time we played for uh, for Disney was in 2003, I believe. We did Grand Night. Was anybody in that? You were? That's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah, with Grand, you know what Grand Night is? A bunch of high schools rent out the whole park and let these kids run around from like 10 p.m. to 3 in the morning. They used to do it. I think they stopped. Well, anyways, in 2003 on that grand night is the night that I met my wife. And now, don't worry, it wasn't a high school graduating person. It was just here randomly. But uh, we're still together. She's over here. And now we have two lovely daughters together. That's my youngest story. So thank you, Disney World, for giving me my most precious gift to the world. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. You have a good time, sweetie? You having fun? Yes. Uh, let's keep it going. Jeff, what do you got for us? You got something old school people can rock to?
very much. Belly rock music lovers out there. Heavy metal lovers out there. Let me see those devil horns. Bring it in their room and your 
Do you remember the words? <laughs> I woke up at the seven, I waited till eleven, just up. I think I've got a lot of friends, but what's another night all alone? When you spend every day on your
Oh my gosh, look at the line already. And yeah. nobody's even left the theater. I mean, the line started building up before we even got in the stadium for this stuff. That's true. So what do you guys think about Simple Plan? Let's make our way out of here. Do you want me to get back in line? I guess so. Alright, let's do it. I, uh, I'll admit, I forgot that they sang a couple of those songs. I tell you what, it was hard to keep track of the drummer when he was running through the crowd. Yeah, I, I couldn't find him. Send me a message calling me a friend. Your mom was mad, but I didn't buy her I didn't even know she was sold. Mickey says, I didn't know any of it. Well, all right. Honey, if I can have you hang on yeah, to this. Yeah, I got screen. it. Thank you. JJ Mickey was saying, didn't know a single one of those, but <laughs> mad respect to the band. Hey, hey, Kim. Hey, just mousing around. Hey, Forza. Glad you guys like them. <laughs> let's go ahead and disconnect you here. Okay. Gotcha. And then let's give you the. You know what? I just keep it on the. No, it would be easier not to. <laughs> okay. I mean, the performance and like the sound and just everything overall was really well done. I think they sounded exactly like they did 20 years ago. And that was really cool that they um, involved their family members and everything. That was pretty awesome. I'm in your video. <laughs> <laughs> Alex says we've had some real surprises with the acts over the years. Yeah, there's been a lot of really good bands that have performed at Epcot. We've had the honor of seeing a lot of them as like last year and this year. Seeing Blue Oyster Cult, Booba Stank. Oh, we saw Daughtry, we've seen so many. Yeah, and Sarah, to answer your question, it just depends on the band. Some bands uh, keep all three sets completely different, but some bands keep all three sets the same. It just really depends. And even if they do keep all three sets like the same with, in terms of songs, they do tend to change up like the way the, the performance happens. So it's always really fun to watch. It is. And Simple Plan has so many hits, uh, they didn't even touch on a couple of them, so I mean... A couple of their top ones, which I would assume they're probably going to play in this last set. So, oh, Skippy, we saw uh, Flock of Seagulls. Who else have we seen from the '80s? From the '80s, mm -hmm. was um, when was Blue Oyster Cult? Well, Blue Oyster Cult, yeah, they were still performing in the '80s. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully they'll change the set, Sarah. Oh yeah, Cargo We The Kings are awesome, for sure. Rick Springfield, yeah. that's true. Yeah, we saw Rick Springfield. That's a good one, Skippy. It is a thousand years old. Germany! Come powering through. The line's already going down towards Germany. And it was kind of crazy. Like, it was. I would have thought, like, you know, if like maybe they had ropes or something, that would have made it a little bit more organized. True. Yeah. <laughs> Theos Amigos says park hoppers melting down YouTube every time. Like YouTube or us? <laughs> We're kind of melting. You want to turn it around and say hi? Yeah. That's a good one, Joey G. AJ Crochet playing uh, Jim Crochet's music. Good music. Yeah. Do you want your Let's step up one. Sounds good. I guess. So guys, we hope you enjoyed Simple Plan, uh, at least uh, that second set there. This will be their third and final set. They've been playing uh, for four days in a row here at Epcot. So uh, this will be really interesting to see. Oh, you're good. Uh, yeah. So we're looking forward to that, guys. 
We are the Park Hoppers. If you don't know us, guys, we are Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Uh, we do a lot more than just concerts, but we do enjoy doing the concerts because it's, uh, it's a nice perk of uh, being an annual pass holder here. Yeah. Uh, being able to see some amazing, amazing acts here is really cool. Uh, but we'll also, tomorrow we'll be back at Magic Kingdom for uh, Take It Easy Tuesday. Yeah, I think we'll need that after today. I think so. Between the mountain challenge we did yesterday and the concert today, a Take It Easy Day sounds nice. And then uh, Wednesday, don't know what we're doing just yet, but we're here a lot, guys. So if you'd like to be a part of any of that in the future, please consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Oh. Joey G says, throw that stash out. No, sir. I need to shave, shave the stubble off. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Guillermo. Yeah, it's for a 666 day. That is why I'm wearing this ridiculous, really hot spirit jersey today. Yes, and we need to charge our fan, absolutely. Yes, thank you, Angela. I can't believe I forgot. I was like, I had it all most of yesterday for the mountain challenge, and then I completely forgot to charge it when we got home. Also, uh, BMCK, thank you so much for that other uh, $1.99 super chat. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Marty. Yep, that is the link for tomorrow's live stream, guys. If you want to join us over at Magic Kingdom. It certainly is. Looking forward to that. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen uh, Neil on the piano. That's true. We keep seeing uh, Grayson, but we haven't seen Neil in a while, so that'll be cool. Uh, get to see some parades, some cavalcades, some uh, some shows and stuff, and just enjoy a nice, relaxing day at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> so Sarah goes like, Monica, honey, listen. No, 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 don't wear a spirit jersey tomorrow if it's hot. I won't let her leave the house if it's a spirit jersey. I was so stubborn, you know, I'm not, I'm still not, it's 7.24, I'm, I'm used to it being dark already by this hour. Nope. And it's sunny, it's hot, it's intense, but I really wanted to wear something to celebrate Stitch uh, 66 days, so I did. I'll regret it later. Or, I already have, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, we are definitely staying hydrated, thank you, Rob. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a scorcher. Um, the sun will set. Eventually. Eventually. But that will be something like 8.30 or so, so it's going to be pretty, uh, it's going to be hot for a while. So pee quickly is what I'm hearing. We, we would love to, the shift manager. The line's very, very long. It is. Do you want me to show it real quick? Yeah, you can. Here we go. So this is what's in front of us, and then behind us, it stretches on and on and on. Goodness. Yeah. But it's going to be set three, so it's like your last opportunity to enjoy Simple Plan here at Epcot before, like that's it. This is going to be the last show. That's true. Did you want a coffee? Uh, I want... No coffee right now, okay. but maybe after the sunset. Okay, fair. I don't know. What do you think? I'm just thinking if you want one before this next set, now's your chance. <laughs> what time is this next set at? Eight? Eight o'clock, yep. Oh my goodness. That's 34 minutes from now. You think they might let people in early to the theater? <laughs> mm, I don't see us getting in any earlier than uh, 7.35. 7.40 maybe. Hey, Matthew Peterson. Hey, Dennis Murray. Santa Custom Science, is this the line for the bathroom? Hey, Ben. Yeah, we already uh, saw Simple Plan for set two. Um, if you wanted to rewind and enjoy that, we're in the line for set three. Yep. It is a hot day. <laughs> it's crazy because it's so late, but yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, Scott Adams. Hey, Claudio. Angela says, I think Monica needs a frozen. <laughs> Iced uh, frozen coffee sounds pretty good too, though. 
Alex J says, bedtime has rolled around again in the UK. Thank you for another excellent stream. Enjoy your evening and catch you on the next one. Well, thank you so much, Alex J. Have a good night, Alex. Have a great night. Scott Adams is saying, thanks for the great show and view. My two kids were singing along with the last song. That's awesome, Scott. That is. The shift manager would love to see Luke Bryan perform here. That would be quite something. I think, uh, I don't know that Epcot could handle someone to, well, then again, they have Simple Plan here today, so. It's pretty crazy. I assume that their popularity is why they had four days instead of, uh, Instead of the usual two. Yeah, because if they had the usual two, it might have been a little bit too crazy. Yeah, they might have overloaded Epcot. Well, I mean, they do have still the park reservation system in place, so... Yeah, I, I just mean, like, reservations would have been scarce. Yeah. Potentially. Well, the thriller says, Park Hoppers, thank you for watching Simple Plan and live streaming. It absolutely will. We're glad to be able to take you guys along. Yeah, and thank you guys for hanging out with us and enjoying Simple Plan and Epcot. Absolutely. Oh, well, Spaceship Earth looks pretty cool right now. It does look really cool. <laughs> oh man, that sun is beating down. 7.30, the phone is at 61%. We're doing pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, Will, I forgot the cooling towels at home, too. <laughs> I know, I forgot them. It's okay, the sun's going to be setting here soon, and it'll feel much better. That's true. <laughs> CNM Custom Sign says, Since they don't have comedians in line for your entertainment, I'll take the job. Let's see here. Goodness gracious, it's warm. Of course, Tilly Man. This mouse and around says I brought cooling towels last week and never had to use them. The temperatures were perfect for me. That's awesome. Marty M says, I heard they were testing the new Disney 100 show for Spaceship Earth. Well, that'd be really cool. Cinema Custom Science says, I'm not really funny, I just work cheap. Just Jody says, howdy there, Park Hoppers. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Jody. Are they announcing the fireworks already? They're already announcing the fireworks. Wow. The fireworks are in an hour and a half. What time is sunset today? Sunset is at 8.30 today. Goodness, the sun will barely set before the fireworks. That's crazy. Of course, Tilly Man. We're happy to stream for you guys. So BMCK, the fireworks show right now here at Epcot is Epcot Forever. Hey Aaron. So after the concerts, it totally depends on what's going on. We might try to uh, might try to meet the band if they're coming out, and if they aren't, then uh, we're at least going to catch the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> park closed tonight is at 9 p.m. Well, the thriller wants to know park hoppers. Do you guys like uh, Epcot Forever or Harmonious better? Um, I think I would say Harmonious just because we haven't really seen the whole Epcot Forever in its full entirety. They don't have the boats with the kites flying around the lake or anything like that. Um, but when Harmonious was at full capacity, when both rockets uh, were working and everything was working right, I think Harmonious was just stunning. It was. I completely agree. Yeah. 
because you were the top. So I do miss harmonious. I don't miss the uh, barges though. Oh yeah, 100% agreed. I, I, I love that the barges and the Stargate are gone so you could really enjoy the World Showcase once again. But yeah, Harmonious was just a much more full-feeling show. <laughs> Epcot Forever is nice, but it, it doesn't feel like a full fireworks show for some reason. <laughs> Kim says Harmonious for the win. Yeah, like when it was 100% working, Harmonious was stunning. It was. The music was beautiful, the fireworks were awesome, the water uh, effects were awesome. Yeah. It was a really cool show. I mean, I think I would rather have Harmonious without the Tarko barges and without the Stargate than what they have going on right now for Epcot Forever, honestly. I just don't know how they... Like, like they wouldn't have the water features. And they wouldn't have a place to launch the fireworks. Oh, well, maybe they could set it up how they have it set up now, you know? Maybe. Just make modifications here sure. and there. Hey Val, yes, Simple Plan is playing their third and final set. Uh, technically, they've been here since Friday, so it's their 12th and final set here at Epcot. And yeah, the last set, guys, is almost always the best. Sarah says if they could float the Stargate out every night like they did the world thing in Eliminations, that would be okay. So I'm pretty sure the original plan was that the barges would fold down and uh, go off stage. Uh, at, you know, during the daytime and everything, and at night. Uh, but I think that they were too big for that, I think is what had happened. And they couldn't move them. I'm not sure. Would you like me to take a part? That's okay. Sounds good, just mouse around and enjoy dinner. Hello, Pearson Haley. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, Scott Mackey says, yeah, the original plan was to have a holding area for the barges. That makes a lot more sense. Ooh, that one's a tough one, Will the Thriller. Will wants to know, Park Hoppers, what about Happily Ever After or Enchantment? So, I'm going to say something that a lot of people aren't going to like, but I preferred Enchantment. And my biggest reason for that is also my scapegoat here. That is the first fireworks show that Monica and I saw together. So, Enchantment would be my favorite over Happily Ever After. What do you think, honey? I really like your reasoning for enchantment, but I also really enjoy Happily Ever After. That's so true. I don't like, yeah. Happily Ever After is a great show. I don't know. I'd, I'd be perfectly happy with both. I think yeah. I really enjoy both shows. I just feel like Epcot Forever is so short. They don't have it in its full entirety. And in comparison to Harmonious, when Harmonious was completely fully functioning, it doesn't really compare. Right. So Val, as long as you have uh, access to Epcot today, you have access to the show. It's completely free for anybody with a ticket today. Uh, Sarah L says, I prefer Happily Ever After because I used the song for my wedding. Well, that's an amazing reason to prefer Happily Ever After. That's yeah, that's, be that's a beautiful reason. Exactly, Cargo. Yeah, the, the music in Epcot Forever does lack that wow effect that Harmonious had. Well, the thriller wants to know, Park Hoppers, did you ever watch Rivers of Light when they had it? I don't... Did you ever see Rivers of Light? Honey? Rivers of Light? No, I don't think I ever enjoyed that one. I think that was Animal Kingdom. Literally call your mom. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's awesome, Tilly Man. Tilly Man says, thanks for the stream. Makes me want to go to Disneyland again. Watching Simple Plan brought memories of the band still rocking even after a decade. FYI, there are two versions of Jet Lag, and one's in French and one's in English. Guillermo Montez says, Fantasmic's my favorite. That is fair. Fantasmic is a great show. BMCK prefers Illumination. Also a great show. Hola, Edward. Welcome in. Thank you guys so much for being here on your Monday and spending it with us here at Epcot. We can't wait to enjoy Simple Plan again. This is going to be their last set and their last show here at Epcot for this year. Yeah. That's true, Will the Thriller. Yeah, the, uh, the kite show did not last long. Hello, Jazzo. Hey, Ryan. Good to see you guys. I think we're going to be going in soon. I would say about two more minutes and then they'll start letting everybody in. I think 20 minutes before the show makes a lot of sense. We have... Uh, you've never been to a work tour, have you, honey? I wish. No, yeah, I've, I've never, I've been, never to been. Tour. I will. Why are you missing it? Like, you come back and get home? Hey, Dramos. There we go. Uh, the deadline oh. just keeps going back there. You and your adult All right. Like they are beginning to file everybody in, everyone. Everybody in, everyone. <laughs> We're heading into uh, the theater. Oh, there we go. Warp Tour too rowdy. You know, a, a little rowdiness is just fine every now and again. You just have to be prepared for it as well. Oh, we'll definitely get a seat, BMCK. I mean, we were further back in the line last set, and we got an amazing uh, seat. Monica's very good about finding great seats. No pressure, right? No pressure. <laughs> Tank for Life Jones, yeah, the line is insane today. All right, we will be moving forward very soon. Getting ready to go on into the theater. Oh, okay. So she never came back. You do have to have the right mindset for things like that, though. Absolutely. Um, oh, so also, I right, we're heading in. I gotta get a good seat. Time, but also Let's when do it. Not working. We need to hang out. Well, Alright, right, so they're in filing in there. So this large group here will be moving time, in, and we are right behind them. You have passes, and I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to work two serving jobs, and then... Yeah, Think for Life Jones, yeah, the line's crazy. <laughs> okay, but my Eddie job Let's is... go behind people. <laughs> yep. Avoid conflict at all costs. Yeah, exactly. I literally complained until I got the day off. Every single man or was in there. I was like, so um, I went to the last show last night and I completely forgot that my favorite band was here. Um, and they played all the sad songs. So I would like to see the happy songs. Can I please go to, go to the concert? And they were like, no. Like, Can we're I here. Uh, we're very excited to see Simple Plan again. They had the right idea with these umbrellas. It's hiding from the sun over there. I don't think they're going to see the concert unless they join it later. Yeah, I, I think that they're just uh, hanging out and just staying out of the heat. Yeah, but I'd be in a store or in oh, a ride or in a somewhere with air conditioning. That's fair. Hey, Kayla. Will the Thriller says, Park Hoppers, are you a fan of Lion King show or Nemo at Animal Kingdom? Do you have a preference? Yeah, well, I think uh, 
but we both we enjoyed both the, the Lion King show and the Nemo show at Animal Kingdom. We did. We actually have a vlog of the Festival of the Lion King up on our channel if you're ever interested. We do. I think between the two though, uh, what I'd be more excited to see again in a really hot Animal Kingdom day is Nemo, just because it felt so much cooler in that building. Oh yeah, Nemo, there was a lot, um, the air conditioning for whatever reason in Nemo was so much better than in the Lion King. Right? The only downside is because it's so comfortable and because it's so well air conditioned, it very quickly becomes a, a concern of, am I going to fall asleep during this? It's a great show. You don't want to fall asleep, but you're so comfortable. It's so cool. Well, the chairs aren't really that comfortable, so they're, well, the well, best, they're benches, you know. Yeah, but when you're in Disney, you know, uh, you'll take what you can get. <laughs> I guess so. So I'm like the same thought I was when I. BMCK remembers the Tarzan show. Oh yeah, the Tarzan show. They should bring that back. That would be cool. Are you saying that just because there was a shirtless man in the Tarzan show? I enjoy the movie Tarzan. I believe that the oh, film was beautiful. The music was beautiful. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Eric, this is set three of the Simple Plan uh, concert. We saw set two. Yep. And this will be the last time that they're playing here at Epcot for the year. Yep. It is... Uh, more than likely going to be a lot of different songs than what they played earlier and we're very much so looking forward to uh, a little bit more of the concert this way okay well again um next video is for you have to wait to come in i do owe you dinner if you wait for someone i'm literally six minutes away maybe we should have cheered too apparently all right where are we going honey as close to the front as possible again, or what do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, is there anything up there, or should we hang back here somewhere? Me and my face again. Where do you want to go? Let's see. You got two? Two. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Sure? Okay. Okay. Alright. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright. Alright. Say Mary is us? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Go girl. If you want to. You have to like angle it more. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So hey guys, uh, we're under the uh, overhang again, which is really cool. We're going to be uh, watching okay. Simple Plan's third and final set in 15 minutes. Thank you. Okay, so now you can move right Thank you. Thank you so much. That was another great band that we saw this year. Was, uh, why do I always try to say Skilly? It's... Um, <laughs> I blame the heat. I blame the heat for everything, guys. Do you remember their names? Dairy to move. Switchfoot. Switchfoot. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. gosh. Were you really forgetting Switchfoot? We've been standing in the sun for. The sun's been. Uh, I blame the sun for everything today. It's been good though. It's been a lot of fun. Herman's Hermits was performing this year. That's true. Yeah, we didn't see them though. We didn't get to see Herman's Hermits. So hey, JD Bassin. Great to see you. Hey, James. Hey, Kawaii Kitty. My glasses away. It's a hot one. It is. Kayla says, nice shirt. Monica, I've got the same one hanging in my closet right now. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. This is my only stitch um, shirt, and I really wanted to wear it. Do you want me to hold the thing? Are you alright? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay. I could, I could hold it up here. Okay. It's a little better, right? No? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Okay. There? Wherever you like to put it. I don't know, you're just, it was going like down. I was, I was just trying to avoid putting it too far. So am I. Okay. But you can move closer. And then you have to be fine. Yeah. You guys heard that, right? She told me to get closer. I had permission. Alright, no, I changed my mind. Go away. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, oh. Anyways. We'll turn the camera around so you guys can see like what's happening here in the um, theater. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, it's a uh, scary jersey. 
Um, but it is the light material spare jersey, which is not as bad as a regular spare jersey. Um, it's just my only stitch shirt. So um, I was stubborn today when we left the house and I was like, it's stitch day, I want to celebrate proper. And uh, yeah, it was foolish. I know this now. Make sure you drink some water. I will. All right, let's turn it around. Let's do it. So this is going to be really cool. We're basically in the same spot, just one row up. Uh, one row up or one row back? Um, one row up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Or two, uh, one row up. Yep. Jim Schroeder says, Monica, what do you think of Eric growing a beard? <laughs> Jim, I have told Eric my feelings on said beard. Um, I believe, Jim, I believe that said beard will be trimmed soon. <laughs> Along with uh, the hair on my head that is far too long. Well, no, for that we gotta get a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I knew how to cut hair, but I don't. Tripod 12 says you should get that Matterhorn Spirit jersey. Oh my gosh, the, um, the Everest one that we saw yesterday, guys? Yeah. Yeah, that one was awesome. I've been, I've been like, I'm like, I can't wait to go on Mount Everest to see that spirit jersey. That one's really cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not the light material one. Right. I really wish one. that uh, spirit jersey would start making uh, more of the light material one, just so I could wear them more often. Queenie's Crossing says, Monica, thank you so much for representing today. Happy Stitch Day. You look lovely. Love the earrings. I'm hoping to get that spirit shirt. Well, thank you so much, Queenie's Crossing. Yeah, it's a cute, cute spirit jersey. Yeah, I love the spirit jersey just because it is that lighter material as well. And I'm a big fan of, you know, stitch. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's that. Glenn says, Monica, I think this is the first time I've seen you without a bucket hat. Baseball cap looks good, though. Oh, thank you so much, Glenn. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, the one part I did think of today, I was like, you know, it's a little too hot for a bucket hat today. So I wore my baseball cap. I just didn't think about the spare jersey part. <laughs> ah, that was a silly move on my part. I just was like, I want to wear a stitch, you know? <laughs> Val says, I'm an all-time low stand. That's awesome. And Kim says, the expedition jersey is a must. We'll hold it for cooler weather. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so true, Kim. I love that spare jersey for uh, Everest. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we showed it as soon as we got a, off of uh, Expedition, Everest. Expedition Everest yesterday. It was a spare jersey like with this blue metallic font and like blue tie-dye, like kind of representing snow. And then the Yeti <laughs> skiing down the slope with this like really cool expression. It was really awesome. It was. And they had a matching uh, mug and a matching pullover sweater. I was like, I'll take the whole thing, please. The whole ensemble. <laughs> The whole enchilada. The whole enchilada. Well, the thriller says, Monica, I think Eric is keeping the longer hair for the start of the NFL season. Oh, yeah? I got to get drafted first, Wolf. For NFL? <laughs> do NFL people have long hair? A lot of them do, yeah. Oh, okay. And so maybe that's what he's doing. That and he it? hasn't told me about it. That's a good theory, Will. Koi Kitty says, nice to defer up. I listen to bands like Taking Back Sunday, The Agony Scene, and Berlin. Static X, Dead Poetic, Census Fail, Silverstein, Newfound Glory, etc. etc. Ah, early mid 2000s bands. I know some of those, Kawaii Kitty. Some. live stream was yesterday we did the mountain challenge it was really really fun i mean we completed the mountain challenge and more like a lot more <laughs> we went on an amazing amazing safari afterwards yeah the safari was epic we saw um the lion which we rarely ever see and the lion roared and was yawning and we saw the baby zebras so that was all really really cool Alright guys, looks like chat stopped on me again. Gonna go ahead and do a quick refresh. Hold on just a moment, everybody. And we should be back. Quiet Kitty said, Val, I saw Taking Back Sunday so many times. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Eric. Charm was our safari uh, guide yesterday, and she was so sweet, so kind. Hey, Mike, what's going on? One above all. Oh, one above all. Yes, the baby hippo too. That was so cute. Oh my goodness, how did we forget about the baby hippo? I didn't forget, I was just thinking of my highlights. There were a lot of baby animals that we saw yesterday. It was really awesome. Kim, what did you do? Kim! Kim, thank you so much for the $15 PayPal. She said go and get something icy cold to refresh after all this. Thank you so much, Kim. We really appreciate that. And we will do. We'll <laughs> thank you do so it. much, Kim. Oh, maybe I'll get that peach iced tea. That sounds pretty good right now. Is that the one that Kim's been telling you about for a long time? <laughs> yes, that's why I suggested that one. Well, thank you, Kim. We really appreciate that. <laughs> thank you so much, Kim. Nice to right back there. So, guys, the show starts in about six minutes. I'm so excited that we got another awesome spot. I thought that you were gonna say that I just can't hide it. No, I, I was just saying that we got another awesome spot for like, this is gonna be set three, guys. This is the last Simple Plan concert this year at Epcot for Simple Plan. So, That's true. pretty cool. Yeah, to be able to get good seats both times is amazing. Yeah, Alicia, uh, we should be watching Epcot forever tonight, absolutely. I think if there's one thing I've learned from Simple Plan today, it's that I need to work out a lot more so that I can wear shirts that have no sleeves. Because that would be just a lot cooler in the sun. I was like, cooler in terms of the weather or like in style? Oh, no, no, no. No, I, I can't imagine that it would look cooler. But like, oh. Well, it looks really cool in a rock band. Yeah, but what am I going to rock, like walk around are you gonna start? Are you going to start a rock band? As we walk around Epcot, just walking around the world holding a guitar the entire time? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to be like? You're going to be the guitarist? Should I be the lead singer? Well, you got to be something. I know. Maybe I'll play the tambourine. Tambourine? Or maybe I'll play cowbell. Oh, cow could always use more cowbell. Right? Can, I, cowbell. can we always use more cowbell? we got to use more cowbell. I think so. Well, the thriller says, when I come to Walt Disney World, the band Hanson is always there. Oh my gosh, Will Hanson's awesome. We've seen them like just about every time since we've been annual pass holders. They're really cool. Did we take selfies with them last year? Oh no, because they, they just walked past real quick. I think Hanson was. I got like I got the there. video of them passing by super fast. But they were very nice though. They like they smiled and waved at everybody. Smile and wave, boys. Smile yeah, and wave. they did that. Oh, so Cargo says, I will rock Epcot with you, Eric. <laughs> That's awesome. Cargo's going to be part of our band. <laughs> Kauai said, I got so confused, Kauai Kitty. He said, Rob, my husband knows that band, but I don't. I didn't realize he was responding to Rob. I'm like, wait, Rob's not her husband's name? <laughs> I was like, who's Rob? Oh my goodness, I blame the heat for everything, guys, today. The heat, I blame the sun. I just like BMCK's comment of, mmm, but. <laughs> oh, oh no. Holly, you're gonna have to miss Joey Fatone this year? That stinks. Maybe you'll get it to see him next year. Joey Fatone and Friends is always such a really awesome concert. Yeah, I'm, I was never a big fan of the boy band era, but like, Joey puts on a great show. He always brings out great artists with him. Yeah, he brings out, like, all his friends are, like, all talented musicians as well and it's like a really epic show like the last time we saw him he had that guy that's really funny from the show you love oh um, uh, I can't Impractical remember. Jokers Impractical Jokers was it Merv? Merv, it was Merv yeah. yeah 
Merv like sung and like did jokes and it was just like this whole thing. It was really awesome. It was. Welcome back, just mousing around. Good to see you, Joey. Hey, Raj D. Glad you enjoyed dinner, Joey. Oh, Holly says I've seen him twice before. That's awesome. Koi Kitty says Under Oath was one of my other favorite bands. These are some pretty epic sounding names. Yeah. I mean, we pretty much listen to like everything. We love like all good music of all sorts of genres, regardless of what it is, you know? Yeah. Maybe take us a moment on it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Kim says, Impractical Jokers is great. The Joey episode is so funny. Did we see the Joey episode of Impractical Jokers? Oh, no. Hey, K Bird. Oh, Rob says, Impractical Jokers is not the same without Joe. I didn't know Joe wasn't a part of it anymore. Was there. I can't remember what happened there. Oh, BMCK, yes, two minutes till the show starts, guys. Thank you. I got so caught up with talking about all the awesome shows we've seen before here at Epcot. Wow, the um, the theater is really packed again. <laughs> it is. There's already people standing. Is there really? Is there people standing? Oh, it's because it's standing room only in a lot of places. Oh wow! Yeah, it's crazy packed. That is true, Will. Yeah, if uh, Kill Switch Engage was here, that I can't imagine. So. Oh, Glenn says, uh, have a great night, everyone. I have to bow for now. Hope to see you again soon. Sounds good, Glenn. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you, Glenn. Hey, Todd. All right, guys, we're a minute away from the last set of Simple Plan. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Upper Rob says he left before season 10. Crazy. Oh my gosh, BMCK Led Zeppelin? <laughs> that would be insane. That would be. We would definitely be here. Like, for all, like, every set, every day. <laughs> Thank you. Alright guys, we hope you enjoy Simple Plan.
much. We appreciate you more than you will know. So if there are some hardcore fans out there, you're probably aware that we have a new album that came out last year called Harder Than It Looks. We're going to play you one song from that record. Is that cool? Alright, this next song is about dreamers. You know what a dreamer is? I guess that we can say that a dreamer is someone kind of like Walt Disney, right? Someone with crazy ideas. And when you have crazy ideas, what happens? People look at you like you're kind of crazy. Well, we wrote this song as a response to those people. You put your hands up like this, you say, hey, hold up, wait up. I might have some crazy ideas, but... I'm gonna be, I got it!
was in collaboration with some friends of ours, two awesome bands, State Champs, and of course, Florida's very own We the Kings. Make some noise. Thank you very much. It is hot out there, huh? Alright, this one's called Untitled. Thank you. 
Thank you all of you guys who showed up. Even if you just walked by and you don't even know who Simple Plan is, we still appreciate you. If you've been here for all the shows, if you've been here for one, two, three, we love you so much. And we'll see you again next year if you'll show up. This song is called Perfect.
Oh, they came back out to throw my picks. Oh, the drumsticks. Yep. Very cool. Right. Yeah. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> So bands really can't do encores at these shows. Uh, they really have a constrained set list. They have a, a constrained uh, amount of time to do the uh, songs that they want to do. Yeah. And uh, then Disney's like, all right, that's it. You got to get out of here because all these people need to get out of here before fireworks go off. So uh, they're usually, you know, told, hey, your cutoff is 8.30. You got to finish. Sometimes they'll run over, but uh, usually they'll, they'll respect that and uh, stay within the time frame required. We hope you guys enjoyed Simple Plan today. That was their third and final set of the day, their 12th set of the weekend. That is their last set of this year at Epcot. You missed some TV, right? Oh, man. You want to turn it around real quick? Yeah, we can turn it on. So, hey, everybody. Hey, guys. We I'm just guys... glad the sun has set. <laughs> yeah, it has been such a hot day. So, it the really fact has. that uh, the sun's gone away is it's a blessing now. Um, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We're still going to watch the fireworks and everything tonight. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to hang out and try to get a selfie with the, uh, with the band. If we can, that'd if we be can. cool. Uh, at times, they'll come out here and we'll see whether or not Simple Plan will do that. Uh, so if you guys want to hang out with us while we do that, and then we'll probably watch uh, watch Epcot Forever, maybe from Italy or something over here. So yeah, we like seeing it from Italy. Do you want to move over here a little bit? Yeah. This way, a little less out of the way. A little more out of the way, not less yeah. out of the way. It becomes not. All my phone's on a very low battery. Would you like mine instead? No, it's okay. It's enough for like to get photos and stuff if they come up for photos. Okay. Oh man. My hearing's a little off. It was a little louder yeah, that side. Yeah, it was a little off. Coda said, that was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you guys for being there with us. Uh, yeah. For anyone who's new here, we are the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us in the future. We're going to be at uh, Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be at Magic. <laughs> we, uh, we get around to all of the parks here at Walt Disney World uh, on the daily. So yeah. if you'd like to come and uh, join us a uh, join us in the future for some of our adventures here at Disney World, we'd really appreciate it if you consider that. So thank you, guys. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. Yeah, we'd really appreciate way. that as well. It looks like this. <laughs> with all that being said, guys, we're just going to wait and see whether or not the band comes out. And, uh, yeah. We'll uh, fight our time before the fireworks. The fireworks are in 21 minutes. There's times that the band will leave out the back on boat. Uh, they'll go to one of the resorts instead. It just depends on if they're going to come out and say uh, hi to their fans or not. It's You never really know. Right. I mean, granted, I guess if we were here the other three nights, we would know. But we weren't. This was the first time we were seeing them. So we'll find out. <laughs> so we'll see you guys. They are still clearing out the... Uh, the theater though, so they're not coming out anytime. But the thing else. is, I think they were on the stage handing out the, um, the set list. Oh, signals in and out. All right, we're gonna do a quick refresh. Oh, thank you so much. Hopefully, that's better. Oh, I was very late to put on my comment. <laughs> oh, did a quick uh, refresh? Was very quick. I'm opening up all the wrong things. I need coffee. I think I need iced coffee. But first, we need to meet the band if right. we can. Patricia, thank you so much. Uh, Patricia says, Great stream, and you look really amazing in that new hat. Who? You. Me? Yeah, that's a new oh. hat to everybody. Oh, I'm like, I wore this the other day. I wore this for Rise of the Resistance. That is true. Nikki Mouse is like, you mean a park holder? A what? Nikki's like, you mean uh, a park holder? Oh, the cool brew. It looks really cute. It does. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Civil Plan was really good. The performance, the music, the, the lighting, everything was done very well. I would say it was a little loud, but like not compared to what we have dealt with in the past. So. And not compared to one of their usual shows. Like oh, that's Just true. For Epcot itself. That was a lot of fun. Though. They, uh, some of the songs that they sang there were a little, uh, a little surprising. Oh yeah, I, like the one they did the like mashup of like a bunch of other songs. That's right. I was uh, not expecting that. Up did we, uh, Miss Beaker and Honeydew <laughs> becoming a member? What? Hey, three minutes ago, Beaker and Honeydew became a member. Thank what? you so much, Beaker and Honeydew. Beaker and Honeydew, you're a pipe poppers. You guys don't need to do that, but thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that. Hope you enjoy the emojis. Absolutely. We added the cold brew today and the um, what's the other one? The plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah. Hope you like those emojis, guys. You want to watch the uh, watch Space Trip Earth a little bit? Yeah, let's watch Space Trip Earth. I'm going to drink some water. Sounds good. Thank you again so much, Beaker and Honeydew. Thank you, guys. Oh, Plymouth Rock says, nice cap, Eric. Well, thank you. That's his Nike dry fit, guys. He has two of those. He needs more, though, because... Uh, these are getting kind of, uh, worn. <laughs> and Mickey Mouse is like, do you, do you realize I'm taking every opportunity to use that cute little guy? The cold brew emoji. That's it's awesome. awesome. So is Penny's Crossing. You want some water? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> wow. The um, crowd waiting for them to leave is a lot larger than uh, usual. Yeah. People are very excited. I mean, that's a good thing. That is. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, <laughs> all right. Oh, thank you. I'm hoping we can use that for. Oh, there is the um, yeah. one of the members. Is it possible to have a photo, Jeff? Jeff, is it possible to have a photo? Hello. How's everybody doing? Hey! Okay, will you go to the house? Hello? Hello? Hey, wait, I'm going to be do I need flash if I take a photo? Uh, if you want to, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. This, this way. This way. This way. <laughs> <laughs> Should I stay out of her photo there? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> she got to take this from this one. She got, she got good technique. Thank you. Yeah. Likewise. Oh, wait. <laughs> We can try. Oh, we got a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Awesome. Thank you. I was like, I didn't want to exclude you. You did great. We just got to get back over there. I don't want to be in the way of everybody. Yep. Just trying to scoot out of the way here. Woo! Oh, mama. Yep. The head guitarist, Jeff Dinko. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, you want to get over there and then I'll I can do my best. get out of the way of people as well. Gotcha. He was playing both. I'm like trying to get out of the way. Yep. I'll stand here. You take the uh, open spot there. I 
No, no, I, no, he's fine in front of me. He's trying to get out of everybody's way to see him. <laughs> okay, sure. Jeff is brave. I'm sorry? Jeff is very brave to come out here like that. their families with them, which makes yeah. me wonder if they will stay back there for fireworks tonight, you know? I would think they will. Alright, I have not been able to read chat because I've had the phone up in my face, but uh, I think I saw James saying cheers, so cheers James. Hey James. Yeah, Pierre is with his wife and daughter probably. Hey Rachel. Yeah, I think a lot of them are with their family and children, so they're probably going to enjoy the fireworks show, and then they might head out. That's true. But we have a pretty good view of the fireworks show here as well. That's fair. We have BMCK. It's a bit more busy than uh, usual. But I mean, it's simple plan, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Nikki Mouse says, it's like trying to peel through a human artichoke. So many layers. <laughs> Lots of layers, for sure, Nikki. Oh, wow. Do you see how purple and pink the Spaceship Earth just became? Yeah, beautiful. That was really cool. Is that part of the new show, I wonder? I think that's part of the uh, 
the Encanto one. I just didn't. Oh, it is Encanto. I don't know. I don't even remember it being so purple and pink and like vivid. You it know? It's really vivid right now. Yeah. Angela says this was a great night, other than you two nearly melting earlier. Oh yeah. Well, it's really hot now just because like the crowd's very intense. So it's very there's lots of people. Yeah, it's it's also just hot out still. So. Yeah, very very humid. Kim says gorgeous. Yeah, it's so pretty. So the security uh, security cast member is making her way back down. I assume they're gonna like hang out and watch the fireworks and then like head out. But so. that's only my guess. I think it's interesting that Jeff is still here in the crowd. Is Jeff still, still in the sign? crowd? No yeah. way. Oh, he hasn't made it that far. I mean, he's at the back of the crowd finally, but goodness, he like really took his time with everybody. He did. He took every selfie. He waited for the picture to actually take for the uh, selfie that we took. Oh, I wonder how it came out. Let's see. Oh, my battery's still though. Yay, it came out pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I like the people uh, smiling in the background. Yeah. You guys want to see our selfie? I'll we'll probably post it on Instagram later. That's an awesome Pretty photo. Awesome. Yeah. I'm getting better at these selfies with the band things. <laughs> Great job. Watch me, watch me do awful with the rest of them. <laughs> oh no. I jinxed myself. All right. Let me get this over my shoulder so that. Thank yeah, you. I can hold it. Except I think I moved it a little. There That's we right. go. Oh no! Nikki Mouse says, I knew I blinked. Right there, my eyes are closed. Oh, oh no, no Nikki, we gotta retake it. Well, well, the thriller says, Jeff is a nice guy. Yeah, he seems really, really nice. Jill Moyer says, beautiful view. Thanks for streaming such a fun show before. A new follower to your page. Well, thank you so much, Jill. Thank you so much, Jill. Oh, thanks, Leo. Beaker and Honeydew say ours Oh no, Beaker too. and Honeydew had closed they, Oh my goodness, we just gotta retake this whole photo, guys Everybody close their eyes This is not good Alright, where's Jeff? Where yeah. is, where's Jeff? <laughs> oh, is this another fan? Oh, this is, I think this is a photographer Yep yeah, He was getting around today Should we take a photo with the photographer? Do you want a photo with Be the like, photographer? Be like, hey, you're the photographer Can we have a selfie with you? <laughs> They're asking for his Insta Oh yeah? Instagram Oh, so he's a, he's a Californian photographer oh, for the cool. band. Jose Chair is here. <gasps> Hola, Jose Chair. ¿Cómo está usted la familia? Feliz lunes. Thank <laughs> you. But yeah, he's also, um, I think he's Canadian. Oh, yeah? I mean, he had a, a French Canadian accent, a little bit, from oh, what I can cool. tell. Like from Quebec? I'm just trying to do my like best detective work here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the photography um, company he works for is based out of California. I just couldn't make out the signature of the company. But it's for a band, so that makes sense. Yeah. CJ Demore, welcome in. We will be uh, staying for fireworks. Oh, yeah, uh, whether for sure. we're here or elsewhere, probably here in about five minutes. It's mostly going to be to our left, right up here. <laughs> I was like, I love Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, that's so funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Nikki's like, I wouldn't even begin to know what French Canadian sounds like, Monica. Well, it helps that Jeff was just speaking uh, with an, a French Canadian accent as he was speaking English. So. Oh, that's true. Oh, there's a bug on me. Did it, it went away, right? Yep, you got it. Lots of bugs. <laughs> hey, Kevin Cohen from Kentucky. <laughs> All right, guys, I've got forever in five minutes. It'll look pretty cool from here, too, though. It will. Oh, Dwayne says, proud Canadian. That's awesome. <laughs> James E says, cheers. So, Cargo, we Canadians appreciate that. Claudia's like, they're from my own city. I had no idea. That's awesome, guys. Nikki says, I'm pretty sure I'm two-thirds cold, bro. This makes sense, Nikki. 
I think I'm right there with you. We might be really related, you know, through the cold brew side. <laughs> Since people are like two-thirds water, does that mean that uh, joining the cold brew side is like joining the dark side? No, it Just means joining... Uh, no? Coffee's beautiful. Coffee is gorgeous and amazing. That is fair. I don't know what you're talking about. Both members of security are making their way back up right now. But I don't see a member of the band with them, so it's quite likely that the uh, band is going to stay for the fireworks. They're going to have a pretty good view on the other side of... Uh, yeah, where, they're, where they hang out. Well, on, on the other side of the uh, American Gardens Theater. Yep. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Nikki Mo says, same Z's, Monica. We match. Hello. For sure. Well, Claudio says, I'm of Italian origin, but we need to speak French as well in Quebec. That's very cool. All right. Are they rolling out somebody in the trash can again? <laughs> Just I some mean, equipment. There, there was theories of Taylor Swift being in the trash can. That is true. That was a pretty wild theory, I think. But also, kind of possible, right? James he says double double to all the Canadian peeps out there. <laughs> hey Tammy Otten. Uh, we are currently standing at uh, just at the goodness, what is this? Eastern side of the American Gardens Theater? Yeah. Wow, you gave very specific directions. Well, just give me an idea of where we are. Oh, yeah. You could have just said by the American Gardens Theater. Oh, that's Garden the American Theater. Garden Theater. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the trees will be a little in the way. Uh, there's not really much of anywhere we can go at the moment. We're just kind of in the crowd waiting to see. Uh, Simple plan. Waiting to see the band. So. Yeah, and it's good, a really good view overall, really. Yeah. Because it's kind of packed everywhere we're looking. Thank you for letting us know, guys. Oh, Holly says, oh, she does go in a janitor cart from dressing room to backstage. That's wild. Hey, Eric. Um, no, we haven't seen Nate today. I think Nate went to see the band uh, Friday, didn't he? I think he, I th yeah, from his stories, he saw them the other day. We have, uh, well, the thriller. We've seen uh, Enchanted Tales with Belle. We saw it uh, Pretty, uh, about a month ago now, maybe? About a month ago, about, yeah. About a month ago. Yeah, we live streamed at Magic Kingdom and we live streamed uh, the Enchanted Tales of, with Belle. That was really cool. Nikki Mouse says, no, no, it's fine. Stay right there. Loving the view gets even better as it gets darker. That's true. All right, guys, less than a minute before Epcot forever. Now it is possible that the band will come out during the fireworks and use the fireworks as a distraction to kind of thin the crowd a little bit. Or it's also possible that they'll come out after the fireworks. Or they may have already left the uh, premises. So. Yeah, they, I mean, it's possible, like, they could have left. They're waiting to show up to enjoy the fireworks from uh, the theater area. Or, you know, we'll see. Yeah. We'll hang out. We'll see. We'll, we can see. Regardless, guys, enjoy Epcot forever, and we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the show, guys. So I need you to make some space, please. Please, guys, move. All the way up for me, please. All the way up for me, 
Yep, he's taking the whole rope. He's got the man leaving in the equipment. <laughs>
You enjoyed it. That was uh, a unique perspective. That was. See, I'm like still pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, Nikki's crying. Oh no. Hopefully, good, happy tears. Yeah, guys, we're in this spot because uh, we're hoping to get some uh, pictures with Simple Plan as they leave. Uh, so far, we've had the honor of meeting two of the uh, band members, and we're hoping to um, see if we meet the other two yeah. as they leave, and that's why we're in this spot, guys. We actually were taking a selfie with one of the members of the band while we were uh, showing Epcot Forever. So. Yeah, that selfie may have not been the best selfie in the world, but it was still good. Yeah. Of course, Eric guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Looks really pretty out here at Cup Forever, that's for sure. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna stick it out a little bit longer, see whether or not we can get a uh, selfie with. Uh, I think we're just missing the drummer and the guitar, or in the, the lead, lead singer. singer and the, um, one more other. I'm not, I can't remember right now. <laughs> Yeah, Kim's like, they have to come out eventually. Just stay there. That's true. Good night, Erica. Hola, Mariana. Unless Kim, unless they leave by boat. That is a possibility also. Oh, that was truck on the drums that we just... Okay, so we're yeah, missing... The, so we met Jeff. Right. Who's the lead guitarist. We met Chuck. We just met Chuck, guys, who the was drummer. the drummer. So now we're missing uh, David and Sebastian. Oh, and, um, and uh, Pierre. Pierre wasn't out there today. What? It was just four people. No, 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 the lead singer. Yeah, the lead singer is... Oh, I'm so sorry. What? Yeah, uh, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre and uh, Sebastian. Pierre and right. Sebastian is um, who still has to come out. Like, granted, they might just leave by the boat to their hotel. So That's we'll, also possible. we'll hang out a little bit and find out and see. <laughs> hey, Bruno. It is a beautiful view. Absolutely. Oh, no. Are we talking about Bruno in here? <laughs> hey, Bruno. Bruno says, wow, it's the first time that I go around Simple Plan in five years, and I'm here. That's awesome. That's awesome. Absolutely. Goodness, the Spaceship Earth is brilliant right now. It really is. <laughs> Good evening, Epcot Don. I think everybody's still waiting for uh, Pierre and Sebastian. Nikki says, oh, don't move. Screenshot. <laughs> oh, I'm going to drink some water real quick. Do you mind holding my phone? You got it. Thank you. Even though the sun has gone down, guys, it is still a scorcher out here. It is hot and humid. But beautiful. 
But it's important to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. It's just important to stay hydrated. No, it's just... Oh, thank you. I was still trying to keep the uh, gimbal pointed at the fireworks. Mm. Sorry about that. Everybody would have understood for a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to uh, make sure that everybody sees uh, the best view of everything that they can. <laughs> Artie, I'm like, you both need some AC. Yeah, air conditioning will be nice. <laughs> So Cargo's listening and eating tacos. That's awesome, Cargo. Wait, Taco Tuesday is not till tomorrow. Oh, Taco Tuesday is in less than three hours. That's fair. Enjoy your tacos, Cargo. Nikki's like, so hey, cargo, where's my taco? Oh. <laughs> what kind of tacos are they, cargo? Ooh, good question. Are they steak, beef, chicken, seafood? Barria? Yeah. Barria? Yeah. Oh, cargo's got Nikki's taco. Awesome. Wait, we want a taco too. <laughs> Chicken. Sounds delicious. I like how she's like, Poyo Marika. <laughs> Nikki Mouse is like, you sparked a taco craze. Now I want some. That's so cool. <laughs> and she's like, fuck, there are bad tacos. I guess there aren't really bad tacos, right? Eric's like, did someone say taco? Matt to the bone is here. Matt to the bone. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> Alicia says, I've been home in the AC. The humidity was uncomfortable here in Massachusetts. Sorry about that, Alicia. Wendy Logan's going to be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. She's so excited. Hey, That's awesome, Wendy. Wendy. That's awesome. If you see us, please say hi. Absolutely. Hey, Chris, the Disney Baker. Welcome in. Good to see you, Chris. Oh, Queenie's Crossing is preparing loaded nachos for dinner. Oh, that sounds amazing. Right? So I would say I think that they left, but no. they also haven't asked no, us to leave the premises yet. No, the main cast members are going back in. Those are kind of like the, the lead ones. I, I thought that was like the stage manager and such. <gasps> Crystal says, good evening. My birthday is tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Crystal. Happy early birthday. Oh, that's awesome, Dory. <laughs> like number 365. Thank you so much, Baker. Thank you, Chris. Now, the question is, is that accurate information or not? <laughs> Took the boat? Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> That's a really... <laughs> Sorry about that. What did she say? She's like, I'm disappointed too. I wanted to see them. Oh, no. Uh, okay, then... I mean, if she was disappointed, yeah, another security guard came behind those guys and was like, yeah, they left. And she was like, yeah, I'm bummed too. But they do do this often as a way of getting a lot of fans to leave. But at the same time, I don't know if it's accurate or not accurate. Oh, we can stick around another few minutes. The store doesn't close for another 40. <laughs> Rachel's like, I don't know, I would not trust her, but up to you. 
question Mickey Mouse is like, I girl, Monica always asks questions. <laughs> hey, I, I think I ask too many questions sometimes. I think very few people left after security said that they were gone. Oh, I hear like so much disappointment happening around us right now that the band's gone. Oh my gosh. Nikki's like, eh, I'm going shenanigans. <laughs> Let's wait a few more minutes. I'm with you, Nikki. I'm with you. That's very true, Jeff Condon. Baker's got a lot of information on pins. Yes. I need to ask Baker about Eeyore pins. Where can I get some good Eeyore pins? Ooh, Eric. Where, where Eeyore is like happy and not sad. Oh yeah, those are tough. Eric's made a really good point. He said, I bet they went to Mexico and got tacos. Well, no, because Mexico, well, I mean, I guess they would give them tacos. I was like, wait, well, it's closed technically, but for Simple Pen, they'd like open up, obviously. I mean, could you imagine being the only ones eating with your family at, uh, uh, what is it, uh, San Angelen? I would go to, um, what's that place we went to uh, that I absolutely loved? I can't remember the name right now. Oh, that's great. Um, Via Napoli. Via Napoli. The pizza there was so good. That like, is true. Amazing. I can't wait to go back. It was delicious. But they don't have tacos at Via Napoli. Okay, well, think. if you want tacos, then you go to Mexico. But if you want pizza, then you go to Italy. That is fair. Yes, happy Stitch Day. Happy 626, everybody. Those look like VIP people. Well, the one on the left is FaceTiming Jeff. <laughs> Which is Jeff? Jeff was the first one that came out, the guitarist. Was it Jeff? Oh, yeah. Maybe he forgot something. Oh, that's possible. And he's sending his friends to go get it. I was like, I recognize that face. I was just like, oh, those people look like they know where they're going. Right? Oh, that's awesome, Alicia. Hope they have an awesome vacation. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. <laughs> yeah, we saw uh, set two and three of Simple Plan tonight. They were awesome. We were hoping to get selfies with um, Pierre and Sebastian because they're the only two that haven't come out this way yet. Uh, security did just tell us that they left, but they... I don't know. I'm not sure if they really left, you know? Because uh, we just saw some friends of the band go back inside. Yeah. So that was a little confusing. We'll hang out a little bit longer, see if that is indeed the case. It's not that we don't trust security. It's just... Oh, no, not a trust thing at all. It's just we saw the band's friends go back there, so... And you never know if security was misled also in order to uh, sell, uh, sell the idea that they've left, you know? I'm just saying, like, in a lot of concert venues, security will say that kind of a thing just to clear out crowds, you know? That's true. Rachel, that's a great question. We're not sure. What's uh, What else is coming up here? Let's see. Ooh, just mousing around says a place called Salsa Salsa here on Long Island has great BLT tacos and fish tacos. Ooh. I really like the name of the place though, Salsa Salsa. I'm Salsa, all about Salsa. that. That's an awesome name for a restaurant. Holy cow, guys. Thank you so much, by the way, for all of the, those of you who have subscribed tonight. We are now 15 away from 5,200 subscribers. Just the other night when we... Oh, goodness. No, Can don't do this? that. Just the other night when we were live, guys, we were talking about how we were right around 5,100. And you guys have already bumped us up almost to 5,200 in a night. That's incredible. Thank you so much. Hey, Ed Winter Sully. Hey, Megan G. Megan says the mayor says hi. He was trying to embarrass me on here, but I caught him. Good catch, Megan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hope you and the family are doing well, Megan. Oh, uh, Joey was saying they make their own salsa and it is fantastic. Wow. I'm a big fan of homemade salsa. And homemade guacamole, like anything homemade is pretty awesome, actually. What am I talking about? <laughs> Oh, JD, thank you so much. JD says, just subs. Thank you, you really so much, that. JD. That puts us, oh, hey, we are now 13 away from 5,200, everybody. 13 subscribers away. That's amazing. That's so awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Subscribing to our channel is really, like, the best way to support us. And it's amazing. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. Yeah. We can't thank you enough. Subscribers. Which right. is pretty awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not ones to uh, try to mislead people in order to get out of here quietly. 
I feel like they uh, would have been would have done what Jeff did basically. Would have been very happy to just come out and just uh, be surrounded I by mean, fans. I mean, I think it's because they were with their families that oh, they. That's um, right. Yeah, I think the two members we met may not have had their families with. No whipped cream. Thank you. I just gotta grab a straw real quick. Gotcha. Thank Caleb, you. Caleb, so where are you, you, bud? Okay. Hi there. Bud, stop. Where are you? Look around. What do you see? The coffee is calling. <laughs> Go up to the building with the clock tower. I'll see you in just a second, okay? All right. All right. Off to the store. Yeah. So, guys, frozen cappuccino drink. Pretty awesome. I didn't know that they were open until 9.30. No, I didn't know either. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Annabelle, come here. We almost missed it. Yeah, did come you here. show everybody the drink? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, guys, this is the uh, frozen yeah, right here, cappuccino we dream, guys. We normally get an extra shot of espresso, yeah, but uh, espresso was waters, not available at this time, and that's and okay that's by us. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't showing up. I gotta find your but uh, yes, that is... Uh, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's who sent us uh, the Venmo for the cold drinks, right? <laughs> uh, Nikki and Eric S. Oh, thank you, Nikki and Eric. Sorry, I was talking while drinking. That was rude. <laughs> Nikki says, so, uh, so far I'm going to have a Park Hoppers inspired dinner tonight. Iced coffee and tacos. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Right? Well, while you drink your coffee a little bit, you want to watch the end of uh, Happily Ever After for me? Oh, we don't really have a good view. Never mind. The Imagination Pavilion's like smack dab in front of it. Can you go to the bridge? <laughs> True. Oh, goodness gracious. Fully charged Chris sent us $8.43 for the coffee. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Chris. For the coffee emoji. Thank you. <laughs> Did he use the new uh, cold brew coffee? No, just a, uh, a standard coffee. Oh. With, yeah. It Thank was awesome. you so much. Thank you, Chris. Welcome in, Hans. Hans is watching from the Bohol Philippines. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Hans. Let's see what we can see here. Let's get it on the other camera. If it'll ever click to the other camera. Where are you? And then let's lower the exposure. There we go. That's a pretty cool view. Well, the thriller wants to know, Park Hoppers, have you eaten at any of the restaurants in Epcot? Oh yeah, we for sure have. <laughs> oh yeah. Is we there... love we love the food at Epcot. It's amazing. Is there any in particular that you uh, were curious about? Thank you. The frozen cappuccino dream does not have our normal extra shot of espresso. But tell you what, it's absolutely delicious. It is very good. <laughs> like, so refreshing right now. And I don't think we need the uh, extra shot of espresso at uh, 9.34 at night. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Crystal, it, it's probably because they had already cleaned up the uh, espresso maker. I'm just happy to have some uh, frozen cappuccino dream right now. Right? The snacks are amazing. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you to each and every one of you that uh, support us in any way you do, by watching, by uh, uh, sending us PayPal's, Venmo's, uh, Super Chats, Super Stickers. Thank you guys. We appreciate all of the support, everybody. We do. Oh, well, those are those, like park hoppers at Morocco. Um, at Morocco, currently, there's a restaurant called Spice Table Road that sounds pretty amazing. We haven't had the opportunity to dine there just yet, but all of food looks really good there. Um, a long time ago, I used to love uh, the restaurant inside Morocco, the so, quick service. Oh, Tangerine um, Cafe? Tangerine Cafe. But uh, they no longer work with uh, Morocco, so it's not the same, unfortunately. Uh, but back in the day, it used to be delicious. 
Hopefully that made some sort of sense, Will. It's the Hercules part ending, and uh, we're about to get the Tinkerbell part. Oh, Joey, yeah, I think the, um, the fancier, like, uh, restaurant that you need a reservation for in Morocco closed, but they still have the other ones open. Is that Restaurant Marrakesh? Yeah. Oh, be careful, there's a lot of ants on here. Thank you. I just saw it. <clears throat> Hey Andy! Andy says, hey Park Hopper, it's a busy day. Finally get to sit down. Very excited for tomorrow's stream. Thank you so much, Andy. Yes, guys, uh, we will be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. EDT, if you would like to join us then. Uh, Will says, Park Hoppers, have you been to the restaurants in Italy? Will, um... We have been to Via Napoli, actually, and we absolutely loved it. Like, it was amazing. It was very good. Definitely. We would do it again. <laughs> hey, Tiger Web! Hey, Tiger. So, we're about to get the finale of Happy Ever After over there. Enjoy that guys and then we'll make our way around to the store. We only have 15% battery life left, so we will have to make it reasonably quick, but uh, the, well, I mean the store itself closes in uh, 20 minutes anyway, so. Yeah, we're not going to spend too long. I mean, we already showed the main merchandise uh, for today, which is uh, Stitch 66 Day. Yeah, all the pins over at the pin store. Thankfully, we went over there. Yeah. I'm glad because they still had everything available. They did. And there's the finale. Enjoy the finale of Happily Ever After, guys, from Epcot. Yeah. And in case you're wondering, those uh, are our two newest emojis if you are a YouTube channel member. Oh, yeah. So, plenty of time and uh, cool. Yeah. Oh, very cool. That was happily ever after, everybody. All right, let's. Uh, oh, oh, there's the finale. Excuse me. <laughs> that was just the Tinkerbell part. Yeah, that's so pretty. I mean, and in case you guys are curious, the location we're um, enjoying the happily ever after fireworks from is from Italy here on the bridge. So pretty. Very much so. So guys, we're going to very quickly uh, reset the stream real fast because chat stopped again. All oh right, no. Let's All right. do that real quick. All right, we should be back. Yes, Carl. Carl says, don't forget to charge your fan for tomorrow. Oh, thank you so much, Carl. I definitely will as soon as I get home. Thank you, Marty M, for letting us know that we're back. All right. Hey, Cornies, I completely agree with you. Definitely wish Epcot was open later. Oh, yeah. And Nikki's like, that gorgeous giant goth <laughs> It is very pretty. Will the Thriller says, Hi, Coppers. I like the quick service Regal Eel Smokehouse. That is one we have yet to try. We haven't tried that location, but it always smells so good. It does. Oh, absolutely, Megan. Epcot at night is so relaxing, especially all the music in all the different countries. For sure. Tell you what, that's some cold frozen coffee there against your throat all of a sudden after a hot day. It's super refreshing. Gotta clear my throat here in a second. Just gonna make sure that I do it not in front of somebody, you know? Let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. Much better. What's that? Oh. There is a crane behind Germany. I am not sure what's going on there. What? 
the crane that was uh, picking up behind Germany there? It's been there for a while though. Remember? Yeah, I just don't remember what it's for. Oh, I don't remember what it's for either. I'm just like, we <laughs> saw it like last month with a rainbow. That's right. Remember? <laughs> The main part of the German pavilion, everybody. Oh no. Holly says, I always go in with a list at Epcot and always get too full to try even half of my list. Well, I mean, that also helps to keep you coming back to Epcot, right? Yeah, that also helps you to save some money, too. That's true. So maybe when you make a list, you have to prioritize, you know? Like, I really want to make sure I try this, and really want to make sure I try this. Like, do a top three. And then uh, maybe six, and then like, uh, okay, if I don't make it to ten, you know? Or like a top three at every country. Like that one? Hmm? You said, oh, a top three of every country? I was saying a top treat at every country. Oh, treats. I thought you said tree. No, treat. Okay, that oh, makes so much more of, sense. Speaking of tree, there's this new treat over at um, the Connections Cafe. Mm -hmm. It's a, I can't remember the name for the treat, but it has to do with the tree. Um, but it's just like a tri-layered cake. Uh, it's just got a bunch of, bunch of layers. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Yeah, Epcot. Epcot is arguably our favorite park. We love being here. Well, the thriller says park hoppers. Epcot should be open until about 11, but that's only when they have the DVC night or after hours night. That's true. Crystal Coachman says, so I'm guessing when the park is officially closed, the, the lights on these buildings stay on. They do, Crystal, I believe. Eight Cornies wants to know, do you like Epcot Forever, Harmonious, or Illuminations better? Which one? Epcot Forever, Harmonious, or Illuminations? Oh, okay. Out of, like, nostalgic reasons, I'm going to go with Illuminations, personally. Um, because I love everything from Illuminations, uh, the music, everything. That's my answer. And I never saw Illuminations, so I'm going to go with Harmonious. Jeff Condon, thank you so much for being here, sir. Have thank a great night. Thank you, Jeff. Good night. Okay, I found the treat I was talking about. It's a new multi-layered cake treat called Bomb Kuchen. Uh, let's see, it translates from German to tree cake. That's why I was thinking tree when I was thinking of that cake. Okay. Yeah. Because Bomb means, means tree. And cushion means cake. Gotcha. And it's 15 layers. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of layers. Yeah, I want to try that. It's over at the Connections Cafe. I'm not sure for how long it'll be there though. So guys, we just passed China. And we are now entering the Norwegian Pavilion. Wow, it's so busy. Normally you're... And the walk out of here, it's not so crowded. Yeah, it's it's a pretty busy day. Pierre Luc says, Happy Stitch Day. It's my birthday tomorrow on the 27th and 27 days until we go to Walt Disney World. That's amazing, Pierre. That's awesome, Pierre. And happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Yeah, we still need to try the school bread one day as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what it is? I bet you it's after, it's after hours today, isn't it? Oh, is that what it is? I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would make so much sense. Yeah, there's Ron. He says, tonight is extended evening hours. That That's what it is. I was like, this is unusual. <laughs> we just rarely come to Epcot on a Monday, I guess. Completely forgot about that. I wonder if that's why uh, Joffrey's was open until 9.30. Yeah. 
I, I found that very unusual. But I was like, you know, I'm not gonna like, what's that term? Don't kick a gift horse in, like, this don't, is don't, don't kick? No, uh, no, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know, whatever that, <laughs> whatever that terminology I is. I highly advise you don't kick a horse. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I wasn't about to question something being open that I was like, <laughs> I want coffee, they're open, this works, you know? That's fair. I'm not going to be like, why are you open? <laughs> no, no, I don't care why they're open. I'm happy they're open. I'll take whatever coffee I can get. Right? Exactly. Nicky Mouse is like, words don't work right now. <laughs> That's true. Noah. All right, we need to go this way. But yeah, if people were uh, excited to see a uh, uh, simple plan and still able to ride rides after because of extended evening hours, that makes a lot of sense. You want any more? All yours, son. Thank you. Let me see how mine, like, there's, like, a lot left. No, there's, there's just a sip left. I know. Yeah, I like that much better than the uh, Starbucks. I don't know, the, the flavor just makes me think coffee more than uh, a white mocha. Thank you, Beaker and Honeydew, for dropping our link. We appreciate that, guys. Well, the thriller says park hoppers. I'll be doing the extended evening hours of Magic Kingdom when I go in November. It's amazing. That's awesome, Will. We hope you enjoy it. Do you want to take a right here, honey, or do you want to go down the center? I think go down the center. Okay. That is true, Angela. At least we can take our time in creations. Nikki's like, yes, 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 we can. <laughs> Creations is important, says Kevin. <laughs> James J.B. Baston says, if you make espresso at home, I suggest Ilian Tinso. Oh, the Illy. Illy's the Italian coffee. Oh. I've never had it, though. I've heard very good things about it, though. Let me go. Oh, there's a trash can here. Mm-hmm. Kristen wants to know, do they have the new figment ears in Creations? Good question. Uh, Kristen, I have not seen them at the store, but we'll keep an eye out for them. Joey just mousing around says between park hoppers and Ron I get to enjoy the Disney daily until I make the final move down there and go when I want. That's awesome. Hey Mr. Knight. Oh yeah that's true Eric there are those rides open but that's an after hours event. Uh, we're not part of that so uh, we're just gonna head to the store enjoy the store and then head out. Yeah. Mr. Knight says, my wife, her mom, and our youngest daughter are there right now. They're in Canada. Or from Canada? That's no, awesome. they no? are in Canada. Oh. That's amazing. That is amazing. We hope that they're having a wonderful vacation. Absolutely. We're going to be at the store if they want to say hi. I swear the baby had a busy spring I swear the baby had a busy Oh, hey, Cornies. Uh, our first time in Disney... Many, 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 many years ago. I... Disagree with me. Disagree? Oh, you disagree? No, no, I agree. I... Well, I was like, disagree with me. Okay, I agree with her. No? Yes. Do you have a different response? I do not. Crystal says, I do love strong coffee. That is... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, um... The bad thing about coffee right now, I think it's like kicking in hyper overdrive on me. And I'm like, I'm like a little wired. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
Nikki says, I truly have a problem. Every time either you guys or Ron are shopping, I immediately grab my wallet. Oh, no, Nikki. Don't forget the discount. It's a very smart idea, Nikki. When you grab it, make sure you have some duct tape around so you can close it up real good. Oh, my gosh. It saves you a lot of money. <laughs> Megan says, I think the coffee is getting to y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, to me for sure, Megan. I think... Uh, I drink most of it, so that's also the problem. I think the accumulation of the heat and the coffee uh, might be a bit of that. Lots to make sure we get you some water. <laughs> yeah, the heat was uh, very intense today. Plus the fact that um, I decided to wear a spirit jersey today. Yeah. There's that. Well, let's get you in the air conditioning here. Soon enough. Nikki says, oh yeah, well, I know where my scissors are. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Nikki, but then you have to make a conscious effort to go get your scissors and open up your wallet. So then at least you're spending money on something that you know you truly want because you went out of your way okay. to make sure it happened. I see the logic there. Right? That, that's very logical, actually. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the air conditioning feels so good. Nikki says, ignore me. I'm so far beyond help. I'm going to stop fighting. <laughs> All right, here on the left-hand side is the flower and garden items. Currently 30% off. Why did I pay them at full price? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why. Why you want a celebration You want to Okay. Well, the thriller wants to know park coffee. Have you been to Creation? Oh, I'm going to do my um, <laughs> Or just, we just got to 5K, so. Oh, no, I'm going to write it up for oh, my shirt. Okay. No worries. We just got to 5K, so I was like, that would be great. Oh, yeah. put it like 5K and like put a photo oh, on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got these uh, buttons. I'm going to like decorate them at home with, um, with my Sharpies, and then we can put a picture out saying, thank you everybody for your 5K, you know? That's true. Oh no, Nikki says, OMG, you guys have the orange bird ears still. I need those. Oh no, Nikki, you don't have these yet. I'm surprised. These are awesome ears. Not to, uh, you know, encourage spending or anything, but... Oh wait, the bows are on the opposite side. It's supposed to be on this side, like up top, you see? That is strange. That one was just like... Uh... They moved it to the side, they thought the bow... I mean, it works on this side as well. That's kind of cool. Actually, I kind of like... I really like these ears because it works both there and there. That's fair. And what are these run right now? They're 30% off. Right, so what's their original price? Originally 35 35 So 30% off, what is that? Uh, $10.50 off? That's yeah. pretty good. That is pretty good. $24.50? Orange bird. We love orange bird. Oh, things. Tiger Web makes a very good point, and it's another thirty percent off with a pest holder discount. Oh no, it's sixty. Uh, with Tiger. Yeah, I don't think they add. No. Uh, they they stack, so it'd be thirty and then thirty. Right, right. So I think it'd be like fifty-four percent or something. Still. Mickey, that's cute. That is cute. Get this one. That's pretty fun. What is? Uh, we, you didn't see anything over here. It's okay. This, oh no, it's there's none of this is around here. We just need to go this way. Oh no, what'd you find? I'm not leaving. You're not leaving. <laughs> Look at Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Aren't those cute? That's the newest collection. Oh my gosh. That is uh, part of the Gourmet Goodies Collection. We have Flower as the Swiss Roll, Cheshire Cat as Fruit Parfait, Emile as French Vanilla Cream Puff, Huey Dewey and Louis as a Pastry Puff Trio. Then you got Leroy as the Chocolate Raspberry Mousse Cake, Squirtus the Ice Cream Sandwich, and then there's a mystery one which I actually found out, guys. I now know the mystery. Do you want to? Should I really? Should I? Should I like tell everybody or like leave it a secret? That's up to you. Do you guys want to know who the mystery menschling is? Who's the mystery For this mystery? collection? I'm asking everybody in chat. Well, now you got me curious. Well, I'm asking everybody in chat. If everybody in chat doesn't want to know, I'm not going to disclose that information. Oh, touche. Kim says, oh no, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nikki wants to know. 
All right, Kim says yes. Tell us. Megan says yes. Marty says yes. Holly wants to know. All right. Okay, everybody. Angela says yes. Okay, I'll disclose it. It is Lumiere, guys. Lumiere is the mystery munchling, and he is the gray stuff. Oh. Yeah. You should try that. It's delicious. Right? So it's Lumiere as the gray stuff is the mystery one in this collection. I love full charge Chris's answer. I am somewhat curious. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's Eric, too. <laughs> James J.B. Bassin's like, I was so close. Because he's so goofy. <laughs> That's awesome, James. Oh, man, that one got a uh, little dented out of shape. I wasn't peeking in the hole that was already there. What? I don't have a problem. Yeah, sometimes this happens, guys. Uh, guests will get curious and, you know, they'll want to know what's in there. And, you know, I'm like, it was already there. Let's see what it is. Because <laughs> I don't have a problem, right? It's brown. Okay. That's all I could. Oh, you know, it's probably a meal. It's probably a meal as the French vanilla cream puff. There That's you go. That is a cute one. Let's see. Anybody else? Okay. <laughs> Did any other house have a break in? <laughs> James. <laughs> That's is terrible, like, right? James is like, hello, cheese. Oh my gosh. Nick is like, this is why Monica's my twin. That oh was my a mean response. <laughs> I don't have a problem. All right, none of the other houses have a break in, so. Oh. All those oh. houses are nicely locked up. They're they have intact. their security systems up because yeah, those the, are very nice houses that yes. are like two stories <laughs> and stuff. Look at Pearl too. That's a cute one. That is a cute one. All right. All let's right. see what other merch we can find. Ooh, mites. Is this a candle or a trinket box? I'm going to go with the, trinket box. I'm going to go candle because I see a bunch of warning signs. <laughs> Do you not see the warning signs? I do see the warning signs. I think it's no. a candle. Ah! Yep. Candle! Alright, let's see what it smells like. It should smell like a dough whip, right? Oh god, it smells terrible. <laughs> no, you know, it, it just it doesn't smell like a, you know, I don't know. Okay, I, I don't know what the scent is, but it's not a let's dough whip. It's a little kind of, yeah, I could see that being dull up when it's burning, yeah. When it's, oh, you mean like when it's melting? Yeah. Okay, maybe. Like, it's just a very strong, it's, big pineapple smell. Uh, I don't know. It is cool looking, though. <laughs> I didn't mean to give, uh, say terrible was my first smell. <laughs> oh, I want to smell the churros. Look at okay. the churros candle. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it not come off? I don't know. Do you want oh, it's, oh, yeah, no, it's, on. it's on there good. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's very sparkly. It is very sparkly. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna smell it. Oh, this one's really nice, guys. I, this, how much is $34.99? Is the Dole Whip also $34.99? This is a much smaller candle, though. This is $34.99 as well. But that one smells so good. That one smells like, I smell cinnamon. I smell like sugar and cinnamon. What do you smell? Goodness gracious. It smells like, uh, you know those brooms in craft <gasps> stores? Yes, the, the cinnamon stick brooms Yeah. for fall. Oh my gosh, no wonder I love it. Nicky Mouse says, the amount of damage, the amount of possible damage I'd be causing right now with that discount is astronomical. Oh goodness, Nikki. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I see a mug I've been wanting to see in person for a long time. Okay. Can you see that blue sparkly one I right across the, the way? Yes, I would like to see that blue sparkly one. Okay, well mm -hmm. let's hit that way. Yeah. Are you talking uh, about Megan this one? says those churros look like pasta. They do look like pasta. Yeah, isn't this one pretty? And guys, I do think it is dishwasher and microwave safe. I don't think so. I it's actually, the you see I the know, shame? I know. Yeah. I get you, and that was my first thought. Um, do you guys want to guess if it is dishwasher and microwave safe? Uh, say yes or no in the chat if you think. Yes, if you think it's dishwasher safe. Yeah. No, if you don't think it's dishwasher safe. Right. And my first thought on this one was like, no way, right? But I actually think it is. Zori and Pierre say no. Marty says yes. Mr. Knight says yes. Forza says yes. Holly says yes. Megan says no. Yeah, see, it's like, it's very torn, right? You I guys have see a... that sheen, right? I know. That's what made me think instantly, no way is it dishwasher or microwave safe. But I actually think it is. Full Charge Chris says yes, safe. Will the Thriller says yes, but no to microwave. All right, let's see. Cinder says yes. 
Is it there... is. It is both. Both, yeah. Dishwasher micro... and microwave yes, safe. Yes, I knew I saw that. That's it's strange. microwave and dishwasher safe. My cup, like I love this cup. I love this color. Like, oh my gosh, it's sixteen ninety nine. This might be a future purchase in the right. future. Joey M says, I just bought two of those mugs. No way, Joey. That's Megan, awesome. Megan said, I feel like it would crack in the microwave. Oh, something just fell. <laughs> Here it says, what? Isn't this shocking? I didn't think it was microwave or dishwasher safe either because of that beautiful sheen it has. Whoa. But it actually is. I've never seen the phone get down to 5% before. It uh -oh. got so dark, I can't see. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's uh, wrap up in the store quickly then. We're in 5%? We're at 5%. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, I know somebody wanted to know about ears. Let's okay. go check out the ears straight across over there. You got it. Pierre says, at $16.99, I hope it would. That's fair. You would be surprised, though. Much more expensive things are, are not as Oh, uh, We've seen accessible. a lot of cups that are over $20 and are not dishwasher or microwave safe. Yeah. Alright, let's just go check out the ears real quick because I know we had some people asking about certain ears in the chat. Gotcha. Look, Joey Chu! Loungy! That is Joey Chu. Oh, look, the Indiana Jones ears! So yes, Baker and Honeydew, this is the store This is the store you need to go to in order to pick up your annual uh, pass holder magnets. Yep. Yeah, the Figment one is here. And they still have the 4th of July ears. The July years are still there, the Joy True ones are here, the Munchlings, the Graduation ones. Um, Hello there! <laughs> my husband's watching you guys right now. Oh my oh. gosh! Um, Jonathan. Jonathan! Oh. Well, hello! Let me see here. Did you try to find them? Let's see what he's saying. Because you were in the guys there at 5% battery, so hurry. Oh yeah, we are. We're like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, my phone's almost this dead. Is full brightness right now. Oh, how cool! <laughs> hey, honey! Do you guys want to say hi? Yeah, we can. Do you want to say hi, Annie? Let's say hi. Hi, hi. hi. Hello. Daddy. <laughs> We're having fun without you. <laughs> this is my mom. Hello. Hey, guys. Where are you guys from? We're from Georgia. From North Georgia. Georgia. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. What part of the... Uh, like so how we're far? right above Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very good cool. to see you guys. We watch you guys every night. Oh, well, thank you. We were here last month, and um, I can't remember who was playing. I don't remember who it was, but he was like, they're in the crowd. He saw your hat, I think, oh. one time. I normally wear a bucket hat, but today That's I'm like, what you were wearing. today I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> suffocate. You were My wearing. I wore a spirit jersey. Yeah, you. I know. It's, it's so Stitch hot. Day, and this is my only. I went through my entire closet, and this is the Stitch only Day thing Day. I had with Stitch. Oh, you guys went over to Magic Kingdom today. Yeah, we went to Magic Kingdom earlier. Now we're here. This That's is a full day. We came down yesterday, spent the whole day today, and then we're going back home tomorrow. Yeah. That's a good uh, drive. Extend the trip. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of driving. I'll <laughs> yeah. well, safe travels, guys. Thank you yeah. for saying hi. No, thank you. Thanks for doing what y'all do. Well, thank you. We love watching you guys. We love doing this. It's it's yeah. so much fun for us, and like just getting to interact with everybody. Yeah. It, it's so much fun. It's so cool to actually like see you guys because he's always looking out for people because he watches so many vloggers now. <laughs> he's Thank obsessed. You guys. I made him obsessed. It's <laughs> it's funny how that works, right? First it was me, and now it's him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye. It's a pleasure, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was so cool. That was. Okay, let's show the ear wall really quickly before our battery dies. Oh, Mr. Knight says, yep, my wife and youngest daughter and mother-in-law. Oh, Mr. Knight, okay, because she said Jonathan, and I was like, I don't recall it Jonathan, but then I was like, oh, I remember Mr. Knight. There we go. <laughs> okay, right. so here's the ear wall. Um, what were the ears we were being asked about? I can't remember right now. I don't know, you've got we've, 2%. We've, 2%, okay, well, there's all the ears, guys, <laughs> available at the creation shop. Um, you want to turn around and say goodnight to everybody? Do you want to try to make it out to the front of the ball? You that, think or? we're going to make it at 2%? I think, we're, I think we're going to make it. Oh my gosh. It's like when you're driving a car and you're on E, but there's still that like last <laughs> Oh, gallon. Figment. Thank you guys. Yeah, it's, oh, not, it's not here. Uh, you know where it might be? Um, it might be at the Figment ride. It might be, yeah. They, yeah. Give, uh, they give shop over there. Alright, let's try to make it to Spaceship Earth to say goodnight to everybody. Let's see what we can do. Will we make it? I hope so. He's like, Eric, no, I wouldn't trust that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Knight. There's always a reserve in the tank. Worst comes to worst, just drive on fumes for a little bit. You're fine. No, not fine if our battery dies. <laughs> That's where we walk quickly and then slow down and quickly and slow down. Oh, no, we're stalling, guys. No, there's no stalling right now. <laughs> we are going to make it to 
spaceship earth is like a nice everybody. I I go with you but I don't want to walk. Oh, so sorry about that. I'm, oh, we're on 1%. 1%? Oh, no. oh my goodness. There's no reserve in our tank. Okay, so while we walk quickly, let's turn it around. Okay, turn it around. So guys, <laughs> thank you so much for uh, joining us today while we went to go see Simple Plan for their uh, final two sets of this year at yeah. Epcot. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us for that. Thank you for being there. Uh, thank you so much to everyone for subscribing, for being a part of this, for viewing, for chatting. Thank you. Thank you for everyone uh, who uh, joined our membership today, who uh, sent in a Super Chat, Super Sticker, PayPal, Venmo. Thank you so much. Anyone who uh, decided to uh, just support us in any way like that, thank you so much. I figured Ooh. we could like turn it around here and then we still get the ball. That's fair. Oh, we have the love wall too, but people are taking photos. Right. Uh, we need to stop before that giant oh, lap. Okay. All right. Like here? Like here. Yeah. Right there? All right. Okay. So that's Spaceship Earth right there. That's still tiny quick Spaceship Earth. Yeah. yeah. We made it. So guys, thank you so much. <laughs> have a great night. Thank you so much to all of the mods who just do amazing things for us. Thank you. We want to be able to do this without you guys. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you to our Patreon members. We really appreciate you guys as well. We're going to hopefully upload some things on Patreon. It's been a while. We need to we need to dump some stuff on there. Let you guys yeah. see some really cool stuff. Not yet. We're not back yet. Okay. And we're on the backup. All right. So guys, thank you so much. <laughs> we hope you guys, uh, you guys hopefully can see us. Uh, we will be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow with battery packs in tow, just in case. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be enjoying a relaxing day uh, at Magic Kingdom. We hope you guys have an amazing night. Get some sleep, get some rest, and we'll see you guys soon. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow in Magic Kingdom. We'll be live around 3.30 tomorrow. Absolutely. So guys, have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Just thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you guys for all the support and hope to see you tomorrow. We'll be catch safe you next time. And have a great night. My goodness, I am so unstable after a long day with some caffeine and uh, no gimbal. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow.